we're underway. Welcome to the ICC Men's Worlds Team Tournament Playoffs. The quarterfinals on Canlopin Bowling Network. Paul Grant, Dan Castle, Greg Guya. Great to be with you today. Two Canadian teams, a lot of championships combined. It's Outlaw Rides in Kingswood, Bulletproof on Canlopin Bowling Network. They flip the coin. Kingswood will be on the right on lane 16, on lane 15 will be Outlaw Rides and we're underway. Devon Brooks drops nine. Looking at the six pin for a spare. Third ball coming it. up. Third ball coming up. Okay, I'm, but just joining in, so I missed that second shot. I know how that is getting right. recombobulated. Good so morning, 90, folks. 90 piece. Good morning, Mr. Greg Gouillard, the soothing sounds of Greg Gouillard. You're not bad yourself, Paul. Hey, uh, Dave Jester, Cove Lee for Milan to the four and two uh, uh, clusters and uh, split for Brooks, and both turn into nine boxes. You know, it's funny. I'm looking at four, 13 and 14. We've been here all week. Now we're on 15 and 16, so I have to adjust. We're off to the left side here. 5-1 split for Devin Brooks. He's been great all week, as most of the team has been. Beautiful ball from Melanson. Adam Melanson has the four pin with Wood to help. Oh, what a shot for a spare. Wow, how about that one for Devin Brooks for Kingswood Bulletproof. Spare for Melanson for LR Rides. Both with nines, both with spares. No points, just total pinfall for three strings. If there's a tie, we do a full one string roll up and we do it all over again if they tie again. So someone wins. The winner takes on number one seed, A plus accounting, who got a two round bye into the semifinals. The other match draw left going on, we'll get updates throughout the day, is number two seed, Academy Leans, defending champions against Able Construction. The second bowl is now nine drop for Travis Wallace and Ryan Shannon for Outlaw Rides on lane 15 on the left. Four horsemen plus the nine. Spare. Ten of the ball for Travis. Missed right, Ryan, one, three, nine. Testing the levels now, that should be a better match. And Shannon takes an eight to start his match. Two marks to one for Kingswood Bulletproof, up 10 right now. So I'm gonna adjust levels one more time. Travis Sorry. from Fredericton, New Brunswick, Canada. We're at Fairlane from Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada on Canada from Bowling Network. On the bonus, back door, gets six. Center triangle, one, two, three, seven left corner. Three wants to go down. Six in the fill, 16 through one for Travis Wallace for Kingswood Bulletproof. Ryan, four husband plus the nine. Travis, a 121 average, 181 high single. What a shot, what a spare. Two marks to start his match, 26 in the ball through two. Three marks for four to start for Kingswood. 75% clip, not too shabby. Shannon, one, two, nine. That inner, that inner pin always makes the four horsemen more difficult to run down. Nice out, nine, 17 through two. Greg, please explain the substitution policy, please, if you will. Substitutions can be made by either team before the halfway point on the mark. That is going into the sixth box is fine and not on a mark. Okay, we got two good ones here. <laughs> Sean Duthripe, an awesome all week. I'll bump a mic shamelessly. It works. Just missed right, four horsemen plus the nine. Kings really the early lead by nine pins. Two marks to one on, on this side also. Davey Summerton goes right up, four horsemen plus a triangle. I have a cr trivia question for you, uh, Mr. Guyar. Uh oh. What does 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2007, and 2013 mean to you? Uh, hopefully better for Davey. Davey won six world titles in those six years. Holy smokes. Nice pickup. Ten for Sean. A rare six for Davey Summerton. A jinxed him six world titles against the six blocks. He's in his, he'd be going for his ninth final. Overall, Sean Duthright. Grandmother got him involved 28 years ago. 
And maybe Summerton's got a split also, 2-1. Please share with your friends and family. Invite your friends to bowl, Canapin Bowling. There is nothing like it. A lot of stuff to cover in these guys. Sean Dietrich, a 122 league bowler, 189 high single, high triple 463, high five 687, right here at his home house, Fairlanes in Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada. Six right, seven left. Summerton, good bid, leads up to six. Dan Caswell call a middle match. The middle string, rather, I should say, the second string. Be back for the third. Now it'll be an eight. The tooth right, 18 through two. 10 for Davy Summerton, just 16 through two. Don't expect that to last that long. Fourth bowl is coming up now, Calvin Locke, the captain. Straightforward power of marks, two extra marks for Kingswood, and the advantage stacking up. Remember, the yellow blots on your screen between total and game indicate the open marks. Two marks to one still to fill for Kingswood. Justin Jones on the right for Kingswood Bulletproof on lane 16 here in Moncton. Crossing over a hay bale. It's diamond plus the 10. A 31% average success rate for Pro Bowlers that would. Stats by Kenneth Bowling Network. Got uh -oh. a lemon drop. Oh, got to give, give him grief in that one. Another one. That's be $10 for Calvin. <laughs> yeah. uh, Capable of converting I'll, it, I'll though. Yes, he is. I'll, I'll tease him later on. <laughs> Three of the seven. It's the four pin of the six pin, your first shot. And off the $1 donation of a candle pencil cancer. A bowl is 501c3 charity. $5 on a spare strike. And a nine for Jones. Eight for Calvin Locke. Sluggish start for them. But the early lead, it goes to Kingsford. By a dozen, 72-60, two marks to one. Yeah, some pins getting away for Outlaw in the early going, but I don't expect that trend to last long either. Justin Jones, 59 years young. This is from Blacks Harbor, now in Moncton. Beautiful shot, strike! Crossing over, Calvin has a triangle. Eight back left, correction, nine back left, six middle, 10 right. So six, nine, ten. Things were three marks to one. Now Calvin gets one there. Three marks to two for Kingswood. 18 the ball through two for Calvin Locke for Outlaw Rides. 82-70, still a 12-pin lead in the first of three strings on Canopin Bowling Network. Yep, so six teams remain, uh, the one seed waiting their turns. Uh, I'll explain more in just a second, but first, our anchors. Corey Smith for Kingswood Bulletproof in the green shirt. Andy Babineau, who was great last night in the opening round playoffs. And a win against Maria Subs. Kingswood defeated unbelievable, uh, unbelievable lanes last night. Takes down eight. Got a break, remarks Andy. Two left, three right, wood to work with. Chops out the three, six standing. For a spare, he got it. Three marks apiece. Andy Babino, the anchor for Outlaw Rides, 10 of the ball, the starters match. 124 league bowler, highest season average, 127. Corey, nice out, nine. Corey, a 198 high single, has a Kingswood house record of 506 triple, and a high five of 720. From Kingswood, New Brunton, Fredericton Bowling Links. He himself has won three world titles. Looking for number four later today, if they can advance. Beautiful ball there, six, uh, correction, four left, eight right. Someone's clapping like they want big money on Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Babino on the spare, just four, 14 through one here in the first. Now it's three marks to two for Kingswood. Kingswood up by seven. It is so easy to lose your mind watching this bowling. Spare. 19 the ball, two. Good bid. Can't get to the five and nine. So Corey Smith, a nine and a spare. Babs gets a 10, 24 through two. And our first uh, P 
peek at the score sheet. If I could find the button for it. 101-94, Kingswood Bulletproof up by seven in the first of three strings for the right to go to the semifinals here at the 2023 ICC World Championships from Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada. Paul Grant, Dan Castle, Greg Gouya on Candlepin Bowling Network. Greg, how can they get to Candlepin Bowling Network? Uh, for Candlepin Bowling Network, uh, like on Facebook and uh, subscribe on YouTube. That's the easiest way to be notified about all our subsequent matches as well. Top go to Adam Balanson. On a spare eight, has the five and seven, 27 through two. Brooks has a half west of three and nine, two in the fill, 21 through two for Devon, for Kingswood. That swings a mark advantage in effect. Leads down to one right now for Kingswood. They get three hits to one. The average spare, fi average spare fill is about 6.5 per Candlepin Bowling Network stats. Thanks, Bob Lee, for compiling that. All right, head pin hit there for Brooks. That's it. Melanson missed the spear, but gets the 10. 31, correction, 37 through three. And a nice out on that mess. He got all of, all of them, wow. That might matter. All seven for a 10. Seven for 10 special. Devin Brooks, 31 through three. The last thing you want is for that box to be memorable. It erases the head pin contact, but the could have been made for a disappointing box. but. One pin lead for Kingsborough Bulletproof. Melanson gets the six to go. Devin did well. He can build. Brooks, 3-1 split. He's got the 10 in the right corner. The left side, right to left, is the 2-4-7. First spare. Missed it. That Brooks. one could roll across on that 3 and one couldn't find an electric charging station, not enough on it. Not enough mustard, say what you will. Melanson gets 10 against a nine. So Brooks 40 through four, Melanson 47 through four, three marks to one for Kingswood, and we're dead even right now, 122, 122, in the first of three strings in this quarterfinal action for Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada at Fairlanes on Candlepin Bowling Network. Light crowd so far, but it'll, it'll be packed and loud and crazy later on. Second bowl is Travis Wallace now on the left for Kingswood. Right side, Ryan Shannon. Ryan, 17 is first through. Travis on a spare. After a spare six, another spare. 26 in the ball through two. Maybe, so, 15. maybe some of our countrymen and supporters are taking the long right home already. We might as well at this point, but a lot of great bowling to watch here. Two in the field for Travis, 28 through two. Shannon, check mark, uncheck that one. Couldn't get to the 10. Chops out the three. Brutal. Nine box. Shannon, 26 through three. Still did very well with that check mark, mind you. And yeah, nice out there. He'll take an 8.5 in that one. <laughs> Travis Wallace, 36.5 now. 36 after three in the first of three. Oh, I'm gonna truncate that decimal for you. <laughs> if only they could just have a, a way to get like, you know, points added on, you know. I got a 9.8 and. If you'd like to run down there with your protractor, <laughs> I'm sure they'd love that. Shannon crossing over, look at this leave. Five, one split. He's got wood to the left. In the middle there. And just four that time. Left side out. For Travis Wallace. Left three columns go. Middle and right columns remain. Kingsford up by one right now. Good bid there on the object. Won't carry. Seven left, six ten right. Silly vertical wood. Good for nothing. Wallace, one five center Worcester plus the ten. One pin lead. Academy and Academy Lanes, not to be confused with Fenway Academy, and Abel in progress on lanes seven and eight. And a tough box there again, eight and seven. Eight for Ryan, 34 through four, seven for Travis Wallace with two marks at 43 through four. At least it's only one pin. Total is tied, you see at the top there, but a one mark difference uh, per the yellow blotches, two to one for Kingswood. Davey Summerton, six-time world champion. 
six and one with McLaughlin Trucking. McLaughlin Trucking, and he had an appearance in the finals first time against Andreas Road Ballarama. He had lost to McLaughlin Trucking. They picked him up the next time. They lost their first time and won six after that in a row. Nice shot, spare. And what a bid that was for Duthright. Sean can't get that ball to go to the 6'10. Little pinball action there. <laughs> Davy Summerton, a 125 current bowler. As Duthright gets a 10, 28 through three. Summerton, 26 in the ball through three out of six, 10 in spare. Two marks apiece for each side. Missing Summerton for some reason. On the bonus. Head pin hit, 3 2 split. 31 through 3. And a spread eagle to Sean Duthright. He's been awesome all week. Davy Summerton, 5 on the fill, 31. Yep. Sorry, I'm late with the smudge for some That's reason. That's okay. Doing a great job, Greg, as always. Wouldn't be here without you. I'm trying to check the socials to make sure nothing's on fire, but I don't see any indications on my display saying so. Right in the hole. Summerton missed. That last shot, the wood took out the 10. He's got the 3 6 right, the 4 7 left. This commentator is his own producer. Thanks for bearing with me. By design. JV 7. 38 hmm. through 4 with the mark. He had a 6 box and he has a 7 box. Unusual for that in the same half. A 7 for Sean Duthright. A very unusual 35 through 4. We're flying through this one. A lot of three ball frames, but. They're moving at a good pace. It's now a five pin lead for Outlaw Rides. They're down two marks to one, close to a virtual tie. Cavan Locks on a spare, the only mark for Outlaw Rides. One of three championships with Kingswood, ironically. The team is bowling now. Four in the fill, 22 through two, they're up nine. Beautiful ball for Justin Jones. Got a split though, it's four on the left, 6 10 right. So we can twirl that wood around somehow. Lock, nice shot, spare. How about that one? Not an, not an easy one. The bundle of six. 32 in the ball through three in the first of three strings in the quarterfinals at the ICC Men's World Tournament. Conference of the wood. It looks very deep to me, though. Push my mic up a bit. It's getting consultation how to play this shot. Not an easy one. Now left, it's, now left it's right a two-alarm fire. Yeah. Left to right of that pin, obviously, tries to spin that wood into the east coast. Nope, with the wood in the middle. Ball comes back, and it goes! Unbelievable! Wow, what a shot! Wow! That was no power ball, but just enough steam on it to go. How about that, folks? Take a video of that one. You gotta fight through that wood however you can. Fantastic. <laughs> he will that one down. Justin Jones. A crazy spare. 39 and a ball. How about that, folks? What do these guys know that we don't? 176, 175. Kings up by one. Wow. Take them while you can. They took their time, didn't give up on that. That looked like hopeless wood. No. Guess not. Lock is a spread eagle on his fill, 36 through four. Second four fill, but that one was not his fault. Jones back in the pocket, seven. Middle pin is the five, left of the five is the eight, right corner 10. Seven on the fill, 46 through four for JJ. Lock inside, trying to go west coast, east coast, chopped out the four. 46 through standing. three. Jones, what a bid. No, no, one miracle's all you get. Yeah. <laughs> Calvin a seven with two marks, 43 through four, 10. Nice pinning. For Justin Jones, 56 through four, and now it's the anchor bowl as Andy Babineau for Outlaw Rides on the right. For Kingswood Bulletproof, it's Corey Smith. Seven pin lead for Kingswood Bulletproof, close all the way through. The marks are one to none for Kings with Bulletproof. Bulletproof right here from Corey Smith. He has a diamond. 25 through two on the spare six. 
The lead is 13, their biggest lead. In the pocket of a strike, he's got it. We couldn't leave no marks on the board up for long. Corey Smith. 35 plus two through three. Dabino missed that shot for an eight. What's going on? What's going on 32 here? 32 through three. What's going on here? Smith strike on, Smith strike on spare. Am I nuts? That's better. Yeah, that's it. And so Corey Smith, 29 through two on the strike on spare. Now 39 plus two through three. Looking for a double. Coming up next, Davino trying to get a, a mark himself. Three, six, ten right, seven left. Now Here Smith the double. Good shot. He's got a three-one split off the side. Kings are up by 19 right now. All and scores are unofficial until proven otherwise, which I am going to double check in just a moment. Nice bid, can't get the seven, didn't miss by much. Smith, what a shot for Spear, wow! On strike, take another 20 out. Spear strikes Spear, 49 through three, 59, the ball through four. He has the only mark for either side, and we go back to the top of the order in the update from Greg Gouillard. Uh, I'm going to check scores. That's the update. I, it's okay. I'm going to check the update unofficially. It's 233-204. Greg checking the official scores here. From Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada, the World Tournament, ICC, Men's Team Championships 2023. From Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada, at Fairlanes on Canelpin Bowling Network. This holiday season, all season long, Please consider Candlepin gift cards. It's a great stocking stuffer. It helps your local bowling centers and gets friends involved in this great game. It's not just for the holidays. It's for all season long. Candlepin gift cards, the gift that keeps on giving all year round, not just the holidays. Back to live action. Devin Brooks for Kingswood Bulletproof on the right. Adam Melanson on the left for Outlaw Rides. Good bid. Going to the 10. Can't get there. Well, that's a good bid. He can't get to the four. Back of a try. Three out of four. Ten blocks for Brooks, 50 half at the minimum. Adam trying to win his first championship. It's a 10, 57 half. Better than being below minimum. We mentioned Adam is a 120 league ball, a 125, his best season ending average. He's a high single of 223. Not too shabby. And a high triple of 464. Ryan, out of feelings. Ryan Shannon, 35 through four, otherwise all correct there. That was one pit off. Devin, 3-2 split. So the one, two, four in front, right corner, 6-10. All other scores confirmed. Thanks, Greg Uya. Great job as always. Half Worcester for Adam. Some say Melanson, it's pronounced Melanson. One of Provincials in the past with his father. Into baseball, gaming, martial arts, and movies. 1 6 10 for Brooks. Devin, a 117 league bowler, his highest season average ever. Right now at 117 as well. His current league average. 1 4 7 opposite side for Melanson. And Devin going for all three gets one the unconventional way for an 8. 58 through 6. That'll be a 9 for Melanson. 66 through 6. 6 a wild. 6 is a wild from Adam. Right now it's Kingswood Bulletproof up by 27, but it's a three-string total format. No points, pinfall is all that matters to get to the semifinals. And the winner will bowl, bowl, bowl A plus accountant, Matt Harnett's team, next on Kennelton Bowling Network. And the finals to follow as well. So hit that red bell on YouTube, get notified when we go live and share with your friends and family. Oh, the red button and then the bell. Yeah. The bell's like gray or something. It's actually quite hard to spot, so thank you if you can find it and click it. Travis Wallace, one, two, four, spare chance. 43 through four coming in. Ryan Shannon looking for his first mark, 35 through four. He goes right side, gets four. Please do hit the big red button. 
Like on Wii Bowling when all the pins just clatter to the heap. Now there's an idea. Travis just missed right. You do know that Easter egg, right? It's a 100 pin game. Anyway. Shannon, good bid off the wall. Can't get to the eight, a little wiggle. Wood hits it again. Rocking and rolling, it goes! Throw the flag, delay a game spare for Ryan Shannon. 45 half plus one. What a great shot. <laughs> and a Paul Grant special for Travis Wallace. Missed the second shot completely, making the third. 10, 53 half. Take the gifts while you can. <laughs> Eight marks to six and five pins and pinning advantage talk for about, Kingswood. Talk about the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Kingswood left by 27 still. One mark for each side. Early in the first of three. What a final action. 1-6-10 for Wallace. Got Wood in between to possibly help. Ryan Shannon on the bonus. Crossing over. Nine. Ten strike. The gimme spare leads to ten bonus pins. That'll get the engine started in a hurry. 55 through five. 65 plus two through six. Wallace just missed number one. Ball's coming back. Spins away. Kingswood still an advantage, but that closed it up quickly. Wallace 10, Travis 63 through six on Candlepin Bowling Network. First of three matches today to wrap up the world tournament. Who will win it all? Stay tuned, follow us, like us. Yeah, Kingswood only ahead by one mark, but because of the pinning and I think the bonuses as well, they're ahead by slightly more than you'd expect. Uh, 17 instead of, say, 6 even. It could have been a single digit if it was just one mark apart, but some other factors are kicking in to give them a bigger advantage than that. Sean Duthright for Kingswood Bulletproof. 35 to 4. Slow start. He's trying <laughs> a bunch of big strings this week. Hit 6. Davey Summerton after a slow start, 38 through four, trying to get going also, he gets four. Trying a 189 high single, high triple, 463, spare. On the board, 45 half plus one. Nice bit for Davey, that won't go. Or will it? <laughs> Broke up the triangle, got the five to go into the eight, but not the nine. Sean's high five is 687 out of fair lanes here in Moncton. Great bowling center. Yes it is. 10, maybe 48 half. So all the balls seem to be staying in. No lineup changes. And I haven't even wanted to, but I want to. Wood material lanes, old school and new school, all at the same time. Kind of like the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. Yeah, they refurbished that place really nice. Two throw for a strike, a wiggle on the five, goes! A make up my mind strike. Summerton drills eight. Nine left, 10 right. Duth right, back in his game, 65 plus two through six. In the first of three strings, quarterfinals. Davey takes his time for the wood, nothing doing. <laughs> the bat, the ball hits the bat in a sense, and he rolls away. Wait for that wood to stop by candle from bowling rules before you release the ball. If it stops and you release it, go to release the ball and it starts moving, that's okay. But must stop completely by rule before you throw the ball. Field goal for an eight. Exactly to your point, Paul, unless it apparently stops moving. 56 through six for Davy Summerton for all our rides. Kingswood Bulletproof has the lead by 29 and two marks to one in their favor. Fourth bullet, ankle bullets now rather. This is exciting. I'm sorry, fourth ballers, Calvin Locke and Justin Jones. They could be ankle ballers easily. All these guys could be ankle ballers on their team. Locke, four, seven, five, ten. One, seven, nine, ten on the right. Good, fast paced match. I need to shove a. The JJ. Good bid. Can't get to the ten. Heck of a try. I need to get a bacon wrap in me sideways, somehow. <laughs> 
Good bid there for Calvin. That's the five and 10. That'll be a nine for Jones, 65 half. Eight for Calvin Locke, 51 half. Nothing like the great game of Candlepin Bowling. Get the word out, get your friends to bowl. Candlepin Bowling. Book your birthday parties, corporate events at your local bowling center, including right here at Fairlanes in Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada. Always a good time when you bowl Candlepin Bowling. Real bowling, Candlepin Bowling. Six blocks, first string. Justin Jones, 119 current average, 128 average of season high. 3-1 split. Galvin, two left, 3-6-10 right. Justin's high single, 194, high triple, 471 at his home house here at Fairlanes in Moncton. Ain't that the way, it better 3-1 and one split even though the head pin was missed. Good effort, can't get to the 10. Bowling since 1972. Lock in the hole. Calvin's a 118 league bowler, 127 his best season in the average. Threw a 206 earlier this week to get his new high single, previously 204. And his 514 is unofficial Canadian record. The official record is 513, but his was not sanctioned. So it's 514. It's not official record, but a good, darn good score, isn't it? High five is 770. Also the co-host with Tim Matero, Hall of Famer, Tim Matero, Brian Athern on Ripping the Rack podcast every other Monday night. Jones picks it up for a 10, 75 through six, Calvin Locke, eight, 59 through six in the first of three. Now it's the anchor bowlers, Corey Smith, the king through a bulletproof on the right. Andy Babin on the left for Outlaw Rides. Two marks to one for Kingswood, bulletproof through up 32 in the first of three on Candlepin Bowling Network. And quiet all of a sudden. Let's be packed later on and loud and raucous. Semifinals next, followed by the finals live here. Strike bid, eight, nine in the wiggle on the eight pin for Corey Smith. 68 through four, what a start. Wood rolling around in front. Spare strike, spare nine. Babineau, five, one, two, four, seven, the eight is playing hide and seek behind the two with Wood in between the two and four, slightly in back. And he was terrific last night in the opening round playoffs against Maria Subs. Look, go, no, roadblock. Four, seven, eight, triangle for Babs. So Corey Smith returns to earth in the fifth box, first string. And that's a Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third for a 10. Nothing wrong with a 78 half. 10 box for Andy Babineau, 52 half. One mark for each side, a 41 pin lead for Kingswood Bulletproof. Good crowd stacking up already. Kingswood the third seed, Outlaw Rides the fifth seed especially for our American friends already getting up nice and early in the morning to see this one. Oh, you're gonna be kidding me, denied the strike as the six pin goes, little tremor, there's a strike of its own for Andy Babineau, a clean strike. Of course, but tonight, another, that another strike from the, wow. That six pin was down, it slid, did a dance. Andy had that spare four and was looking for some momentum. That'll help. He gets the spare. 88 in the ball through six. What a string for Corey Smith. Holy smokes. That's four marks already and big counts on each of them. Paul each Grant, Dan Castle, Greg Gouillard, and Kenneth from Moling Network from Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada at Fairlanes. On Kenneth from Moling Network, the World Tournament quarterfinals. Update from Mr. Greg Gouillard. 11 marks to eight and 10 pins in favor of Kingswood Bulletproof at the current moment. Top of the order, Adam Melanson, 66 through six. Devin Brooks, 58 through six. JJ, Justin Jones has also been doing well uh, with that strike spare combo. Middle triangle, one, two, three, 10 for Adam. Devin looking at the four horsemen left, the one, two, four, seven. Melanson, good bid. Oh, Wood got in the way, collision. For a spare. 
just missed the four. So the other shoe dropped for me, uh, not uh, like a few minutes ago, mind you, but we're going to crunch inwards, basically. So the lanes will progress inwards and inwards. 9, 10, and 13, 14 for the semifinals coming up next, and then 11, 12 for the finals, I presume. A 10 and a 9. For Melanson and Brooks, respectively. Melanson 76 through 7. Brooks 67 through 7. 40 pin lead for Kingswood, two rocks for each side. Three string total pinfalls, all that matters. No, no points for a string. Like Devon Robbins. Head pin hit, go for strike, almost stole it. Brooks, three, six, a six goes into three, got a break. Four, seven, spare opportunity with Wood in front to possibly help. Wood coming out of play for Adam. Number one seed, uh, A-plus accounting, next to play, face the winner of this match on Canada Family Network. The other side, Able Construction taking on Academy Lanes right now. The winner of that match takes on the number one seed, Fenway Academy. And we'll have the finals here, of course, also as well on Canada Family Network. Adam missed. Brooks drills it, spare. Seventy-seven of the ball through eight. Here in the first. Adams had a few chances to get away, I'm sorry to say. And another Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third. Never a good time for that. Ten, 86 through eight. A couple missed opportunities for Adam. A great bowler. Just missed just a couple shots. It happens in Candleton Bowling, fortunately. But all these bullies have great resiliency. And bounce back in a heartbeat. Ryan Shannon. Outlaw rides on the right in the gray shirt. 65 on a strike. On lane 16 and lane 15 is Travis Wallace, 63 through 6. Things up by 40, three marks to two. Ryan's first strike ball is a diamond. Not a bad lead, the one and two from missing the head pin for Travis. Ryan from Sackville, Nova Scotia. It's two. On the second ball, eight in the strike, 73 through six. Blue shorts today, I like it. Missed right, Wallace missed that chance. And missing right is Ryan Shannon after a strike eight, eight in the box, 81 through seven. Ryan a 122 league bowler. Nine for Travis, 72 through seven. Ryan a high single 184, high triple 455. High five, 640, home lanes, Windsor. Bowling for 32 years. Travis is 29 years old from Fredericton, New Brunswick, Canada, 121 average, 181 high single, high triple 469, high five, 668. Also has a high 10 of 1331 and a high 20 of 2396 out of Kingswood. Bowling center. Strike bid there, pushing the five. It goes, strike. He'd been waiting for a good head pin hit. He was on a cold streak. That's a great way. After a couple of marks to start the match, his third mark, 82 in a ball through eight here in the first of three. Shannon, one, three, seven, eight, nine. Wooden back to help the back row. Nice shot, he got it. Pretty shot. 91 in the ball through eight. Four marks to two for Kings of Bulletproof. They're up by 33 pins at the World Tournament. Quarterfinals. TV Summerton trying to get going here. 56 through six. Sean Duthright for Kingswood in the green shirt on a strike, 65 plus two. Just three for Davey. First strike ball, stealing eight. Chance for the mark, 4-7 for Duthright. Sean, S-H-U-N, S-H-A-U-N. For a spare, he's got it. Spare on strike, 75 through six, 85 and a ball through seven. Summerton, nice out, nine, 65 through seven. Second Kingswood Bowler to put that spare strike, spare combo together. 
Davey from Eastern Passage, Rich, uh, Eastern Passage, Nova Scotia. Forty-five years old. Trying to get a mark. Tough split. On the bonus, tooth right delivers nine, ten strike, strike on spare. Wow, ninety-five through seven, one hundred five plus two through eight. The ABM's going to run out of twenties at this rate. After a slow start, right back at it. What a try there by Summerton, who has a 197 high single, a high triple, 503, high five, 757. Out of Woodside Bowl of in Halifax. He gets a nine, unusual low score, 74 through eight. Kingswood Bulletproof has the lead, 55. But it's three string total pinfalls. All that matters. That's not a big lead in any of these matches for anybody, given the talent. Four marks to two for Kingswood going their way so far. Calvin Locke in the fourth spot. Missed left. No marks up. Three goes. The one goes. The six goes. Well, the ten, the ten goes. Slow motion. Well, the seven, he's pushing his arm to the seven. <laughs> what a character. He pushes it, <laughs> jump up and down. <laughs> Charge your feet, Calvin, putting on a show. <laughs> oh, that's good hammer. Justin Jones twirling around, won't go either. Justin forgot the jump. Where's his theatrics? Such a rush, Calvin. He missed it somehow. Ooh, 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 Ball's ooh, coming ooh. back. Wow. <laughs> He spilled that headpin from behind, right? Yeah. And a spare for Jones. 85 and a ball through seven. They get all five balls on marks. Calvin Locke, nine. Some might consider those theatrics a distraction, but I hope he never changes. You know, he's a no. very focused bowler in his Absolutely. own way. And that's how he feeds off the energy. That's how he gets his focus. Yeah. And Try to keep it loose. 68 through seven for Calvin. The man threw a 206 earlier this week. He can't be doing that much wrong. Bowling since 1995. His family got him involved. He's a three-time world champion. There's a strike. Would have been a great fill, but nice comeback. 78 plus two through eight. Jones on the spare. Three, a spread eagle plus the eight. 88 through seven. Tough leave. Got two, the four wiggles, holds up. Five standing. Kingsman has left, led most of the way. Grab two for seven. And JJ, Justin Jones at 95 through eight. Paul Grant, Dan Castle, Greg Gouillard on Candle Pin Bowling Network, the Men's World's ICC Team Championship quarterfinals on Candle Pin Bowling Network. Update from Mr. Greg Gouillard. In just a moment. And first anchor bowl is coming up. Then the top then the top of the order. So it's Andy Papineau and Corey Smith. Four marks to three for Kingswood. 447, 391 of 56. And both balls on spares. Papineau's first strike ball, 4-1 split. Corey Smith in the pocket, five wants to go. It holds up, 6-10 right on the spare, 95 through six. What a start. Nice shot, oh, what a try. Couldn't get to the seven. Big nine fill for Andy Babineau, 71 through six for Outlaw Rides. Smith with the wood, off the wall, no. And Babs gets the 10, 81 through seven. Corey gets the 10, 105 through seven. He won his three world titles in 2015, 2017 and 2019, the last time they hosted the world tournament. 
Didn't have it in 2021 because of COVID. Head pin hit for Babs. Strike! Looked like a banana split at first, broke it up. 91 plus two through eight. Corey, head pin hit, nine. Wood nudges the 10. What a string he's having. Right now it's three marks apiece. Also three world championships, 2015, 2017, 2019. Spare, 115 of the ball through eight. Unofficially a 54 pin lead for Kingswood Bulletproof, four marks to three. And now back to the top of the order. The switch sides, Devin Brooks on lane 16, lane 15 is Adam Melanson. Adam 86, Devin 77 on the ball. Two strikes, two spares to one, two spares, one strike. Two, two strikes and one spare for LRIs. So four strikes between the bowlers on marks. Five in the fill for Devin, 82 through eight. The diamond plus the seven, four spin right, one, three, six, ten for Melanson. Right in the middle, half Worcester. Lonson missed inside, didn't miss the head pin by much, did he? Got the three, one, six, ten. Brooks will grab two for nine, 91 through nine. Late in the first. Melanson gets the sure two for nine, 95 through nine. Sure, if you're him, I suppose. Devin's grandparents bowled their whole life. He followed suit. He's been bowling for 24 years out of Kingswood. 173 high single, high triple, 421. Be turning 29 in December. Outlaws confirmed. Head pin hit. He gets a wobbling diamond. And Kingswood is confirmed. Not, not a diamond, sorry, not a diamond. That's the lambda, some of us call it. Yeah. Three, five, eight, nine. Yeah. Not quite a diamond, anyway. Funky diamond. We were learning the Greek letters. I don't know why they those flashcards were in that. I even have trouble with English. Dan Castle got this international sweets package. For some reason, Greek letter flashcards were there. Brooks, tough leave. Almost pulled it off. Leaves with the nine. He's from Fredericton, originally St. Mary's. He, he was got a strike in the last box to win an AYB national championship against his rivals in Moncton. As he gets a nine, disappointing first string, 100 for Devin Brooks. Melanson, oh, pretty 10, that's a wow 10. 10s don't get enough love. 105, opening string. Agree. Brandon Melanson, three marks for each side, eight boxes to go in the first of three, quarterfinal action on Canopin Bowling Network. Kings went up by 58, 497 to 439. And group number two. Travis Wallace on a strike on the right for Kingswood Bulletproof. For Outlaw Rides, Ryan Shannon on a spare. Travis Wallace for 20 years plus. Checking the levels. Okay, that worked. Family got him involved. Miranda Wallace as well. Sister. Strike! Double strike, wow! Pouring it on here in the first. Travis Wallace. 102 plus bonus balls. Shannon on the spare, hooks right. Ooh. And just three, 94 through eight. It's all Kingswood so far. But Outlaw Rides is no easy out. Plenty of time left to bounce back. Good second ball. Nudges the five, it holds up. No, it, now it goes. Now the seven pin for a 10. Missed right for a nine, 103 through nine. Quickened up the tempo, wanted to get that one over with. Expect some lineup changes next string for Outlaw Rides. If you wouldn't mind uh, doing that once you get off here. Yep, yep. Dan get Castle, off the booth. Dan Castle will call the second string, I'll back to the third. I'll get the lineup changes in between. And we'll give you an update on the Academy Lanes and able construction match. Travis going for the turkey, the triple strike on lane 16 here at Fairlanes. Missed right, it's six, one, two, four, ten. 26 in the first double strike box. 
Ryan Chen could use a mark here. Drills the pocket, a check mark. Wanted more. Travis, eight in the second double strike box. Up to one, 16 through nine. Shannon missed left, two and a five. I even said Travis Wells needed the head to hits though. There you go. He'll take a nine to 125, opening quarterfinal string for Sean, uh, Travis Wallace. 125, Sean Duth right up next. Nine for Ryan Shannon. 112, opening string, Davey Summerton up next for Outlaw Rides. Final six boxes, then two more strings after this. And after that, it's the semifinals and then the finals live on Canlopin Bowling Network. Make sure that follow and like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, over 850 videos and climbing. It's always free, never a charge. Canlopin Bowling Network on YouTube. Strike, a double for Duth right also. Seriously? Whoa. Wow. They're on fire here in the first. Spare strike, spare strike, strike. Davy Summerton, 74 through eight. That's quality bowling. Missed right. Not that we're surprised or anything. Three and a five. Ten box, 84 through nine. Davey won his first world title in 2002 with McLaughlin Trucking, one of six. Been eight finals, going six and two. Hobbies include golf, his kids, and sports. <laughs> McLaughlin Truck and Trailer. Won 2002, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 2013. Holy smokes, this lead is ballooning. And we'll go over some of his teammates later on. Duthright's first double strike ball, four. Some respite for Outlaw. Summerton looking for a spare, the one of the two. Second double strike ball. He'll take down a few more. He's got the seven of nine. Star Trek character, the Queen Borg. Eight in the second double strike box up to 137 through nine. Another great performance as he has all week by Sean Duthright. And Summerton missed that one, just mm -hmm. not himself here in the first. He's had quite a few splits, but those last two could have had. A 10 box for Sean Duthright, a 147 first string. Davy Summerton, nine, an unusual low 93 first string. Yeah, th that's what sometimes happens when you don't get head pin love for an eternity it seems and then you finally get your chance and you're just not in the zone to shoot those spare shots rough going if you would say that outlaw rides be down by 103 pins in the first string in the quarterfinals <laughs> i'd say you're crazy but that's where we're at right now not saying you're crazy but the outlaw rides has two marks to one but again they can do the same thing reverse the fortunes just as easily speaks to the overall dominance of kingswood right now another strike for justin jones for kingswood they're a strike machine here in the first. Mm. Calvin drills eight, six and 10, spare chance. How many strikes do they have, Greg, now? That double would have been outlandish. We have eight strikes on the board for Kingswood and two doubles, and it, which makes effectively 10 and four for Outlaw. That's good, too. Calvin missed right in that spare chance. Kingswood well over 600 now after all those marks. I do stress there is still time, but those opportunities ki are killer. Now the right struggling to get over 500. We will get over 500, yeah. but. Nine fill nine box, that should be. 96 to nine. Yep. Could it be the third double strike of the string? Stay tuned. <laughs> Almost that close to the eight for another double. For Justin Jones, for his team. Calvin one, six, nine, 10 triangle. Right on a spare, on strike. What a range of pause, 115 through nine. 125 to ball the 10th. And Calvin picks his up. He's at 106 in the ball. Outlaw with that upset win in the last match over Maria's subs. On the head pin, on the spare, six. How about a 131? But Justin Jones in the first lock delivers 10 strike on spare. Hmm. Drop at the first, good note. 
116 first string for Calvin Locke, Front Law Rides. If you do a lot of four pin gains like that, that's gonna start stacking up, even though this is now a triple digit difference. 101, wow. One mark for each anchor bowler here now. Andy Babbitt was on a strike for Outlaw Rides, a spare, believe it or not, only a spare. But remember, you still have 100 boxes after this. There is so much time Absolutely. to turn the tide. And Kingswood can do the exact same thing, as I said earlier. How many how many marks overall? We'll verify, we'll verify that in a moment. Smith gets eight more. 123 through eight. Seven is the lowest fill he's had. Andy Babino, seven on the first ball on the strike, two, four, seven, chance for another mark. That won't go for a spare that time. There's a spare and strike for Babineau. 101 through eight, 111 in the ball through nine. Trying to get it closer. You just chip away a few, every pin okay. as much as you can. Yep, that gains. One box at a time, can't be, can't be uh, heroes. Try to get all on one box, one string. Nine for Corey Smith, 132 <laughs> through nine. They're up 98, 98. Pin lead for Kings of Bulletproof. Of the outlaw rides. A stunner so far. One mark here for Babino, the only mark obviously left. Eight for Smith, four seven spare chance. The bonus ball is six. One, two, four, seven for Babino. One seventeen through nine. Cuts it to 92. And that is nothing. That's not a walk in the park. Lead for Kings of Bulletproof. Kings of Bulletproof. That missed again, two close calls. Didn't go his way for a change. Gabriel trying to turn that wood around to the one as he missed it. Won't go. Try to get to 127. Corey try to get to 142. And a dominant first string win, Dom dominant win. Had a wrong score. Oops, sorry, my levels are high. 10, 142 for Corey Smith. Andy Babino, 10, 127 first string. Unofficially, we'll get the official scores just a moment. Kings with Bulletproof, 645. Outlaw rides 553, a 92 pin lead. Paul Grant, Dan Castle, Greg Gouillard on Canapin Bowling Network, the ICC Men's Worlds Team Championships quarterfinals on Canapin Bowling Stand Network. Stand by while we get set for the next string. Dan Castle will take over from here. Yep, got to make that transition quicker, please. Thank you. Need to get this set, need to get everything set. There we go. Good, good, good. Have to be my own producer and uh, commentator. Thank you very much. And we will copy this in that there and gets that Dan if you wouldn't mind keeping an eye on the pinfall on your way up I'd appreciate it here comes a couple of toughies stand by Paul I need to not get distracted at this critical moment we are now set second ball makes the spare levels up on your mic uh, Dan that's a spare for Kingswood will put that on the board. And one more ball for Kingswood team. There it is. And that is a 10 box with that on the board. And now, uh, Paul, who have we? We have Eric McGuigan, who for? For, King, for uh, all our rides first. Uh, first now, okay. All right, while you're doing that, um, the Academy Able match is going on. I've been hanging out down there with, with the teams and uh, through seven and a half boxes. Abel was up 24. Um, following that, the last two bowlers for Academy put up a couple of marks against open boxes. So hang on to your hats, but right now advantage Abel. All right, we're in box ball uh, two. Ooh, good bid by McGuigan. Is it McGuigan? McGuigan. McGuigan. And Brooks, Devin Brooks put, uh, misses it. Uh, McGuigan uh, ends up with a 10 box mm -hmm. for 27 after two. And a nine box for Devin Brooks for 19 after two. 19 after two, another substitution we see. Uh, so, so Outlaw is basically reshuffling their lineup. So we now have uh, Melanson second, 
Brian Shannon third. Dan, may I have your eye on the pinfall, if at all possible, yeah, just one please? one second, okay, yep. No problem. All right, where we go? Uh, and Locke and Babineau remain the same, and uh, Kingswood will not change their lineup. And I believe we have our transition set. Okay, good to go. Thanks so much, Paul, for that update. So Melanson just punched out, and uh, Wallace, uh, let's see. I just picked one off of it anyway. I believe that was a five pin. And a spare for Wallace. Good shot. And a nine box for Milan. Stand up and watch it here. All right, we're rocking and rolling here. That's Dan Castle. That was Paul Grant. He'll be back. And my name is Greg Guyar. Thanks so much for watching. And continuing to watch, please, <laughs> this Thank presentation you. of Candlepin Bowling Network. Thank you, Greg. We're trying to do the transition. I forgot to introduce myself. I assumed everybody knew me, but that may not be the case. Increasingly so, I'm sure. What's that? Increasingly so, I'm sure. Sparefield Travis Wallace. All right, both bowlers went off the head pin on that one. And um, that was on a spare fill for Wallace. Beg your pardon? That was. Thank you. And uh, the fill is four. Yep. And um, McGuigan McGuig uh, had a spare as well, so that's that. And Wallace, uh, Melanson putting a, a big uh, at pins wiggling, trying to threaten it or uh, offer a spare, doesn't go. And Wallace uh, still has a couple up. So neither bowler has a spare in this box. There's a 10 box for Melanson. And a 10 box off the wall. He missed it, clipped some wood, it went off the wall and came back and took out both the one and a seven. So pins are big for the for the for both teams. Yeah, current pinning uh, statistics as we drop down to Ryan Shannon and uh, Sean Duthright. Uh, currently we have 22 marks to 14, plus a few doubles for Kingswood. And pinning is 11 in Kingswood's favor. All right, so Shannon, Ryan Shannon just dropped a nice eight. But he's, our seven, he's rewarded with the seven, eight, ten pin. Douthright, or Douthright. Um, Douthright. Douthright, I'm getting it. Oh, look at that. Uh, he, he clips the other two. He, but anyway, back to Douthright. He's on the nine and ten, and that's his fair. Douthright. Douthright. Nope. No, all right, let me try again. Got it right there. Douthright. Okay, there we go. Sorry, guys. That's it. Ten box for Ryan Janet. One mark apiece. Outstanding. Okay. I probably said it a few times if you were here early. Sorry for being a broken record, but those yellow dots between total and game indicate open marks yet to be filled. It's a helpful guide to where we stand. And uh, Duthright puts nine on his fill. Shannon, well, he... he Took out five. He's got the two, four, seven, eight, and ten pins standing. Back nine count. Wood looking at him. Yeah, he tried to get around the cap. And uh, there's a spare for Duthright. And the advantage piles on, and the beat keeps on going for Sean Duthright. The Kingswood team looking pretty hot here. Nine box for Shannon for the Outlaw Riders. Notice the team with the advantage makes no changes. That's a very common, I'm not going to say universal captain uh, uh, thought process, but just keep going with what's working. Meanwhile, Outlaw shaking up the lineup, trying to get the psychological uh, engine flowing. What's the sentence I was trying to say with that? You so, get what I mean. Yep. So we have Calvin Lockup on the right. Very animated bowler. One of the best in the game. And he drops nine. Justin Jones. With a seven drop. And a spare for Calvin Locke. All right, Justin Jones looking at the seven, nine, ten split with some wood in there. There's wood between the nine and the ten. Kingswood has made a deep wood shot before. That was extraordinary. And I think that's the way to go. Let's see if he agrees. He's going the other side of it. And uh, 
Nope. Ah. Does misses a seven. Rolling one off the back play. Maybe if it turned differently, it could have. It was a slow roller. And he, he settles for a nine on that. So a comment in the Facebook page is interesting. Uh, Calvin uh, Locke is well known to be pretty animated on the lanes. And the comment was is that, well, he's friends with all the Kingswood guys. They don't mind. <laughs> They're all buddies. All right. Locke on a spare. Spare fill is six. And, uh, well, it's he's going to make a shot here. He's got the five, uh, six, nine, ten. Triangle plus a five pin. Jones is on it. The two and the four are left. So now it looks to me like Locke's got some wood to the left. There's extreme left. W is he going to sweep that? That might give him a chance, but it's way out there. So this will be a pro shot regardless. He's going for the wood and just about works. Literally bounces the ball to the other channel on the other side. I was worried he'd fouled it, but no, no, he's no, he was it was good. It was a fair hit. I saw it. Thank you. Unless they call otherwise, a spare for Justin Jones. Yep, bowler's call. They see it best. So the wood was entirely out of the channel, and it and uh, the the back end of it was was close to the channel. May have been touched in the channel, but he hit front middle of that pin. And the spirit of bowling sportsmanship persists. So, sure, there are cameras, but they, they, they're honorable anyway. Uh, we do not use, as a general rule, our cameras to judge that. If we see a foot foul, we may say it, but unless the bowlers call it. Not our place. We don't get involved. We're not in the game. We're just documenting. Okay, on the right, we have Andy Babineau, and he starts out with a hit off the head pin and leaves the head pin in a triangle right. Nice head pin hit for Smith, for Corey Smith, and he takes a nine drop. And uh, we'll take this opportunity to give Paul a chance to update us on the Able and Academy game and see how the first game ended up. They were down uh, about 24, but uh, let's see where they stand. Where they finish. Other action on the other side. Academy oh, sorry, sorry, Paul. Able sorry. Construction. Able Construction wins the first on lowest scoring string, 579 to 576 by 13 pins. Billy Gillis for Able, 120. Danny Harris, 130, to lead Academy Lanes. K Able Construction with 13 after one in the quarterfinal action. Was that when a- it takes on Fenway Academy. Was that a three pin win or a 13 13. Pin? Okay, so- 13, 579 to 566. 566, okay, not 13 576, pin okay. Win. Okay, thank you, Paul. So it appears Academy picked up yep. a, a bit, but um, not enough to win the first string. Nine versus ten, excuse me. I got my that's attention that's okay. drawn. All right, and Andy Babineau on his first ball comes in and drops eight. And that's a 7-10 split with Wood in the middle. Ooh, no. Crossovers leave that. Crossovers leave Kings. That's my yeah, working theory. Well, Corey Smith's got a tough one. He has a 5-6, 7-10. And uh, Wood for the 7-10 split here is about as good as it can get. And uh, no doubt about that for Andy Babino, a much needed spare for that team. Corey Smith tries to play the Wood to take it back and forth. And only only the 6-pin comes out, so he's got the 5-7-10 bear. No Wood up there at all. So uh, goes through the left hole, so just a 7-box for Smith. All right, we're halfway so through the first spot. Are we finished the first two? We sure are. That's uh, 90 pins right now. Two marks to two outstanding. Just verifying that. That's correct. Current st match statistics is 25 to 16 in the marks. Really, it's more like 27 for Kingswood Bulletproof if you count the double strikes twice. Uh, pinning is nine in favor of Kingswood. All right, so our top of the orders come up. And Devin Brooks up on your right for Kingswood. Eric McGuigan on the left for the Outlaw Riders. All Canadian match here. <coughs> Whoops, didn't cough that. In fact, uh, well, we've only got one American team playing uh, right now of the four that are, or that are on, the, on the lanes. Oh, the nice spare for McGuigan. So he put eight on huh. that first spare. And 
The he didn't he wasn't on a spare, but okay, now that's okay. up. I'm just looking at your notation here, so okay, never mind. Yep. Now it's up. I don't know why I confirmed it before. That wasn't right, but now it is. All right, and uh, Brooks. Ten bucks, twenty nine through three. Okay. okay. Yep. See it on the sheet. Got my attention drawn again. I was some, oh, yeah, someone I came up to me. I yeah. Um, that happens a lot when I'm on the mic. Yeah. Oh, spill it. Oh, oh look at that. It just about stole a strike. He was the off the head pin, so backdoor nine drop. The mark filled itself. So, Brooks has a tough split to make. And uh, that's not going to happen this time. McGuigan, he's on the head pin only, and all gone. Spare and spare. Funny game, Candlepin, sometimes. He's doing his job for his team. Two marks in a row. A needed shot. A 19 and a 10 plus something, a nine box for Brooks. 38 after four, McWiggins at 56 plus a ball after four. Chipping away at that 90 pin advantage from, from uh, the end of the first box, first two boxes. All right, on your right, we have Travis Wallace for Kingswood. On your left, you have Ryan Shannon for the Outlaws. Neither is on a fill right now. All right, hold, is that Ryan Shannon or Melanson? Nine drop for Wallace. Okay, so Melanson, I'm sorry, I, I, we we have a, a separate notepad going here for to help us out, and uh, uh, the scoreboard is correct. That is Melanson. Wallace drops nine. Melanson and no no spare in that single pin. Melanson's looking at the four horsemen left plus the six and ten, so got to make a cut here, and he puts it through the hole. So both bowlers open in the. Third box. Ten box for Wallace. Nice shot, Travis Wallace. Pick that up. Don't gap this one or you'll lose a mark. <laughs> oh, what a shot. That's what both bowlers end up with a ten box, and both bowlers really wish that was their second ball because they made great shots and took nothing on the second. So gutsy, gutsy shot. Did you see the tiny piece of that head pin? Oh, he, he played just the right side of the head pin, just right, and uh, that was gutsy. He was going for all of it instead of taking three or four on the left. That's confidence. Level check, that should be better. Yep, you sound good. And an eight drop for Kingswood. And for Melanson, he's again similar as to before, but he's got one more pin down. It's a two, four, seven, six, ten. Wallace is looking at the six, ten only with wood that's not great, but he gets the spare anyway. All right, Melanson shooting at this without any wood. Got to cut something over, preferably the two pin. And uh, it goes wide to the left of the two pin just a little bit and picks up the four and the seven only. Now, realistically, he's probably looking at a nine box at best here. And uh, he picks up one, so it's an eight box. So Melanson sits down after four boxes with 37. Wallace is at 44, plus a mark for the Kingswood team. The notes are right now. All uh, right, thank you, Greg. You're a scholar and a gentleman. In some order or another. Ryan Shannon and Sean Duthright. And Duthright on a spare. First ball is a fill. Coming in, powerful approach. Drops nine. Again. Great form up there. Shannon with on the, a hit on the three pin. Still falling, and it settles down with the one, two, six, ten. Duth, um, Duthright uh, picks up the spare again, single point <laughs> spare. Now Shannon's got a split to contend with, and he picks it up. He 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 pulled the same thing as his teammate. Took a took a tough shot there, and he came in just to the right of the head pin. Cut that ball over to the six ten. Pins took themselves out on the left. Marks are six fair. to six in this string. Pinning is very even, so that's why the string total is very even, which is good news for Kingswood Bulletproof. 
All right, and a head pin hit for Duthright for a six fill. One moment, let's get the fills here, Paul. No rush, we only got two matches today. And Shannon puts seven on his. Both bowlers dealing with splits, and uh, Paul, if Paul has an update. Uh, nope, not yet, not, okay. He's just in the on-deck circle there. Okay, pretty much. So 6-10 comes out. Shannon with the, looking at the one eight seven nine is one and a nine go. Seven stays up, so both bowlers are open. No marks either bowler. Second bowler now is Robbie Hopper in for Adam Melanson in the second spot for Outlaw Rides. All right, we've got the uh, substitutions. The eight box for Duthright. Nine box for Shannon. Heard. Uh, chef, I guess. All right, lead back up to 89 for Kingswood. Down three in the game. Doesn't matter. It's all about total pin count. We don't end up, other than as it affects pin count, we don't really care about the game total, the game score. All right, pin still falling. So we have Calvin Locke on the left, King of the North, Justin Jones on the right, and he put seven in his fill. Nice shot. And another spare. Nice split. Locke off to the left. Nice split conversion. And uh, he still has the one, two, five up there. And there they go, 10 box for Calvin Locke. John Duthright could already pin out 369, Smith and Jones in the 330s. I'll get you. I need to turn away one second. All right, Justin Jones on fill. And a nine fill. Calvin Locke is hoping that five goes. And uh, the wood stays up to help cover the triangle. So many nine drops. Kingswood, Kingswood all over the pocket. Well, he's got wood coming out there, so nine in the fill. Just make sure you got that. You got it. Am I still allowed to complain about my bad luck on the head pin sometimes, or do I just need to get good? I guess so. You can do it. <laughs> just get that oh. ball out there. Well, Shake hands with the pins. We're all allowed to complain. All right, so this is a little tougher one for Justin Jones. He's got wood that... He's got to get around somehow or use it. He uses it. All right, that worked. It was risky. How do you do? There you go for Calvin Locke. He got his mark on that triangle. The wood worked out very well for him. And so both bowlers sit down after their sixth box. Calvin Locke and Andy Babineau doing theirs, theirs part. Sit down after the fifth. Oh, no, they're sitting down at the sixth. You say, uh, there we go. You, you got it. Just figure it out. All right, Kingswood. Andy Babino on your left. Corey Smith on your right. And uh, Babino put. Babino put um, eight on a spare. Smith looking at the two, five, seven. Doesn't make it. Babino makes his spare. All right, here comes the Outlaw Riders. Okay, Smith trying to pick up the 2-7 for, a, for a, a 10, and he picks it up nicely. Pro shot. Very good. That was a tough one. Had a tough split in the last box. I'm happy if I get one on that. Yeah, Smith's clutch penny came out well when he won a string by one pin because of a 10 box he had on the end. Frustrate much to the chagrin of Bowling Ball Mafia who did make the playoffs but are now out. They can be proud of that. But Bowling Ball Mafia in a similar way. They grind, grinded? Ground. Ground and ground. Got, the, got their way into the, the they show. They got their way in, yeah. There you go. All right, seven drop for Corey Smith and on the fill, it's only four for Babineau. Left side out. Brackets are Academy versus Able on the other side with Fenway Academy playing that winner. A-plus Academy will play this side's winner. Oh, geez, just on the wood and deadened out the ball. He capped the wood. He wanted to go to the left of that, and 
In the meantime, Babineau took out everything but the head pin on his spare attempt. They're riding the 10th digit. We know what it is. Nine box for Smith and a nine box for Babineau. You know, want to smoke over the scores for the end of this fourth box? There we go. 93 pin advantage for Kingswood Bulletproof. Greg is checking to verify our count. And in the meantime, we have Brooks on the left, McG McGuigan on the right. And uh, McGuigan puts nine in his spare. Both bowlers have a nine drop, nine in the spare for McGuigan. Very good. Second straight nine, Phil. And it's gone. There's another mark for McGuigan. Brooks is shooting at a single pin and picks it up. Matching marks for our bowlers here. McGuigan's a 75 and a half. Four mark half. No substitutions being made per Paul. Well, we picked up one. Many thanks again for the bowlers for helping out with uh, letting us know. Appreciate it much. Team effort here, guys. 48 at the half for Brooks plus the ball. 75 plus this ball for McGuigan, and that ball is a five. All scores confirmed. So McGuigan finishes with an 80 half. Brooks puts six on his. The four pin is thinking about falling, but it's not going to. And um, so that leaves him with a six fill of 54 at the half. Well, so all scores through four boxes anyway. <laughs> that's right, this is box five. Hang on, sorry guys. I'm seeing no, five. No, that, that's not on you, that's not on you. I see the five down there, so. I'm watching the action more than I'm watching the scoreboard. No, you did nothing wrong, I don't think. Okay, s eight box for McGuigan. I think you'll find I can't take my eyes off this match either. Incredible. And a ten box for Brooks. Right now in a blowout like this, the question becomes where where are the scores just blowing out? Sean Duthright, 69 over par already. Just JJ, Justin Jones, going crazy as well. He might be close to that in a second. Well, the outlaw team has a game and a half basically to catch up. Corey Smith hasn't got it going in this string, but had that 142 previous. All right, Melanson, seven on his first ball. And Wallace is on a fill on your left for the Kingswood team. His fill ball is just a one. It's a lemon drop and... Mm. Five bonus pins on oh, the last two fills. Oh, not what you want to do on that. Uh, uh, Melanson went wide of everything. He had just the one, two, four, which goes down nicely. Score correct. Did. Yep. And uh, see, told you it goes down nicely and picks it up for the 10. And um, uh, yes, that's right. Oh, that's Hopper. That's Hopper. I beg your pardon. Sorry, Hopper, not Melanson. Didn't make the switch. And Wallace picks up a nine box. Sorry, that was the switch that they made. Robbie Hopper is bowling on your right. Not not Adam Melanson. Yeah. Let me know if the scoreboard ever goes like that. That's not right. Should be like this. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. It goes like that at the end of the boxes, which is helpful to us. But all right, I sit Look. down for a second here. Looks a little bizarre otherwise. And we're wishing a happy birthday today to Danny Harris, the anchor of the academy team, bowling down to the left in the mm. middle of a tough match. All right, first fall for Hopper is a six. And verifying that visually, yep, the uh, nine pin is still up. He has a one, three, nine, ten. And uh, back doors the left-handed part of that. Nope, no spare. He's a ten still up. And um, Hopper has four horsemen right. That's Doesn't Wallace. quite right. No, okay, punches out yeah. to the three pin. It looked like something was a little out of line there. I'm not sure what it was, but. Ten, gr ten grand for the team would be a nice birthday gift for Danny Harris, but all I think these other three teams have something to say about that. Step at a time. They, they work together well, that team does. So they got down mm. yesterday in the second game. They won the first one by 35, and the second one they were in trouble. 
and then brought home the victory in that round at the end. So I have a it wasn't even close at the end. I have a confession. Yeah. I have not had the chance to ask anyone what the currency of those dollars are. It's $10,000 to the winner, but which one? I would assume Canadian, but you have Here a Here we point. are. You have a good point. It might be American. Oh, that's a good question. Ten box for Dennis Hopper. Robbie Hopper, sorry. That's it. And Travis Wallace settles for an eight. All right, we're going to have Ryan Shannon bowling for the Outlaw Riders team on your right. And for Kingswood Bulletproof, we have Sean Duthright. What's that? It says Outlaw Rides, not Outlaw Riders. Outlaw Rides, that's correct. That's what it says on their shirt. Okay. Never mind, I'm wrong. Neither bowler on uh, a mark. Shannon drops eight, has a 7 10 split. Still falling for Duthright. Technically, the name is incomplete. It's Outlaw Rides slash MCW. Look at this, he's on a 7-10, no problem, picks it up for Ryan Shannon. Sean Duthright makes a bid on that and leaves the three pin. And a nine box for Duthright. We now have the scores up, I see. So Kingswood Bulletproof obviously lopsidedly ahead after the first string. Abel and Academy are in the thriller at the moment. Abel is up by 13. 579 to 566 over Team Academy Lanes. Fenway Academy plays that winner. A plus accounting plays this match's winner. First ball for Shannon which is a fill ball is a five. In the meantime Duth right on your left makes a nice nine drop. Woods wiggling around down there for Shannon. And uh, he has a cluster four on the <coughs> right, which is the three, six, ten, the nine pins there, the seven pins on the left. See if you can make him dance around enough to pick up a mark here. It's a tough one. Um, that's not going to happen. He's open. And his opponent, Sean Duthright, picks up a spare off that nine pin. So many nine drops for Sean Duthra. Just another one and another conversion. And Shannon has an eight box. Doesn't touch the three seven split. Extra markup for Kingswood. It is a lesser lead than they had before. That law is gaining ground in the string with 10 marks to 10 and a little bit of extra pinning at the moment, but at the moment. All right. We're although the extra mark could tighten it up. Next box we have Calvin box we have Calvin Locke on your right. The team's hoping that this world champion bowler. Spare who's, fill. Who's on a spare and it's an eight. Why am I doing charades? There's no need for charades. That's right, I can hear you. Dan, we can talk as men. <laughs> Seven fill for Jones. All right, both bowlers have a split. This is where you may get to see a, a real pro effort here because Calvin Locks on a 4 6 split. And Justin Jones has a high low jack, the 1 7 10. And a uh, good bid by Locke. It doesn't go. Can he pick up this 1 7 10? 1 and 7. Busts up the mark streak. That was three straight for JJ. 10 box for Locke. Very casually throws it up there like a single pin is no big deal. Just, I got it. Not an, it's not a big deal on its own, but it, if you well if you touch it, all you got to do is touch it. Yeah. But they look awful small down there sometimes, especially when you're in tight competition. If you lose the match by one pin, you start thinking through every single ball. You don't want to be in that position. So I learned a while ago, and I sometimes coach people on this. That pin is two and a half inches. I'll pull up a pin. Look at this. The ball's four and a half inches. On either side, you have roughly four inches to play with, plus two in the middle. So it's not as small of a target as you think. And somehow, psychologically, that helps pick up singles. Because you don't have just that tiny toothpick on there. And um, Locke drops seven. He's got the six, seven, ten split. And Duthright's got kind of a mess down there. Head pin, four, seven, eight. 
Lock, uh, nope, message doesn't go over. It goes to the pit. It was rolling. Not far enough, nearly. And uh, Duth, Duth uh, Lock, or Jones, one of the bowlers. Justin uh, Jones. Justin Jones, thank you. Um, just clips out the eight pin, and uh, Lock picks up that seven at the end to finish it out. Lock is pinned perfect through six boxes. His pinning is great. Um, he, he just, you know, there's one still standing up there. Boom, no problem. He's got it. Jeff asks, will we be going to Halifax to cover the women's? With the greatest of regret, no. I'm very sorry. It didn't. It wasn't in the cards for us. Had it worked out a little differently, had logistics panned out differently, I think Bob Lee would have been able to be here had family things not come up. It's just the way it is, I'm afraid to say. And we wish all the women out there a lot of luck out in Halifax, Nova Scotia. All right, Andy Bebino on your right. Coming Punches up. out through the middle. And um, Smith, Cal Corey Smith, better leave. He's got the one, two, and nine. Babineau for the spread eagle plus the nine pin. Just picks out the left two. Needs to pin out on this box. Smith misses a head pin. So nice uh, out there for Babineau. It's an eight. I'd rather have a ten, but you know what? With that mess, not bad. Yeah, I opine about how nice it is to be a part of the complete Candlepin community, but it'd be nice to be part of the truly, truly complete Candlepin community and cover the Canadian and American women in this game as well. Another time very soon, we hope. And a 10 box for Corey Smith here in the Candlepin Worlds competition in the playoff rounds. Andy Babineau takes out six. He's left with a two, four, seven, ten. And Corey Smith on the head pin, Ooh. trying to drop a bomb there and uh, two full. So the two, six, ten stay up. Both bowlers have a split. Both bowlers are on the head pin. Andy Babineau, is it going to get over there? Yeah, it goes in front of it. So a great bid on that, but the ten pin stays up. Corey Smith. This tournament is men only. It's 4 6 10. Tough split. He's going to the left side on the wood. It was the two pin at least, but it's oh, still. Oh, two pin. I'm sorry. So I read that as a four. I was off on that. Which did allow for that lateral movement. Just couldn't get it over. He he uh, nudged the six pin. It did it did act like it was hit a little bit, but not enough to take it out. Uh, right. Babineau with the 10 box and a 9 box for Smith. Yeah, no marks out of the bottom two bullets for either side. A little bit of a lull in the action, but that's good news for Kingswood overall, who's still nursing a big advantage. 79 plus that extra knock for Sean Duthright. It's come down a little bit, but Kingswood also yes. has an open box. There is and, plenty and, of... And, and, and now I've been talking to Canadians too much. An open box means an open spare or strike. Where in the U.S. we call an open box. Yes. Like Something less than a spare. Sean is open. Is a good thing here. All right, McGuigan, nice drop. Triangle left. I think he's got some favorable wood down there in the middle of the mess. And McGuigan on your left leaves the one and the ten. And no, it doesn't go for Brooks. Rough. Tricky triangles. McGuigan on the one ten. And not going to happen. Borrowing a Don Gillis term. Don Gillis, the Canadian-born uh, sportscaster of the Channel 5 shows in, out of Massachusetts. And uh, a 10 and a 10. And what term was that again, please? Uh, tricky triangles. Tricky triangle. Yeah. That's better yep. than some of the other words we use for yeah. it. Don Gillis was born in Nova Scotia. Obviously best known for his American sportscasting career with WCVB. And a lot of us have modeled some of our commentary after his style. Always imitated, but never best. Bet better. Devin Brooks. We have a nine. nine drop, and he's looking at the nine pin, double wood in front of it. Probably just wants to miss the one on the right. That ought to go. Does. Leaving no doubt about that. 
And in the meantime, McGuigan's looking at the 1 2 10. And he picks that up. Matching spares for our bowlers in the seventh box, in the eighth box. Yeah, Eric McGuigan, who was a great substitution in, he's got five marks. And he's at 108 plus a spare, plus a fill. And Wallace is at 62 plus a fill. So that's a big gainer for the Outlaw Rides team. Is it enough? They've chipped away at that lead. It was 90 something, now it's down to 79. That's still a big lead though for Kingswood. All right. On your right, Wallace comes up. Huh, that would tip the wrong way for him, unlucky. Question in the chat, what's the prize breakdown? Thanks Calvin uh, M for that. Uh, it's ten thousand dollars for first, and basically have it for each round. Basically five thousand for second, two and a half thousand for third and fourth, or something like that. It's roughly that sort of breakdown. Eight, nine, ten. Travis Wallace made a bid at, and uh, no. Hopper was hoping that that pin fell forward, but the two and the four stay up. <coughs> no mark in this box. Nine box for Wallace. Ten box for Hopper. And pins picked up by the. Ella Wright's team. One more. They'll need to do that a lot more because they have uh, 14, 64 box. Yeah, they'll need to gain more than one at a time at this rate, but that's a good start. Builds the foundation. <laughs> Speaking of Don Gillis in the comments since mentioned, Diamond wins again was the favorite of Don Green. Wallace drops seven to two four seven, very makeable spare, tougher lead for Hopper, two six ten, and he's off of that object pin. See if Hopper can take advantage, and he does. He does. First mark, Hopper's on the board, and that was that was a good one. Ten box for Wallace. So Robbie Hopper picked up a mark for his team. Very nicely done. Not the easiest shot in the world to pick up. It's a 2 6 10. Okay, on your right is Sean Duthright for the Kingswood team. On your left is Ryan Shannon. Duthright's on a fill. And he comes in on a two pin and takes out four. He'd been dialed in prior to that. That's still a good string cooking. Ryan Shannon, good ball. And it leaves a four horseman off the head pin. Tooth right trying to pick this up. All but the nine pin go. That was a great hit. Four horseman shot by Shannon. And he's on the two pin, missed his object pin. So only clips out one, and he has a one four seven left. Nine box for Duthright. Shannon trying to best that. He's going for the 10, and he ends up with a nine. These guys are very confident. A lot of times we're coached. In fact, I, I had a very senior teammate some years ago who used to yell at us if we tried to pick up all three of those on the third box. So sometimes we do it when we're ahead just to give them grief. But... Um, <laughs> We're often told, just get the two. Get the two. Don't worry about that. You, you know, you it's, risk. Hard. it's hard to win a match with pinning, but it's very easy to lose it by not pinning. That's correct. So these bowlers are showing absolute confidence and trying to pick up every pin, even on the third ball. And and uh, we just saw that attempt by Shannon to hit the one four seven. First ball on this. Duthright took out everything but the four horsemen and missed a spare. Shannon's looking at a spare. Um, Leave that's pretty attractive here. And that's all gone. He had the 247 with wood in front of it. Should be a layup shot for most bowlers and for these guys, no big deal at all. Mm -hmm. String advantage stacking up here for Outlaw. Nine box for Duthright. If if this keeps going at this clip, this could be a different match. As it is, it is still 81 minus two bonus balls for Kingswood. And Duthright ended up at 103 after 874 and a ball for Three open marks to one for Outlaw. You see the yellow dots on between total and game to help, help keep track of that. All right, Justin Jones 
There it goes. There's a strike for Justin Jones. Calvin Locke coming in, tries to match it, puts a ball in the pocket, and uh, seven go. He's got a triangle on the left. Three pinner. Lock on the triangle misses just to the right of the object pin. A lot of body English on his ball, on his uh, movements down there in a 10 box for Calvin Locke. Still pin perfect. The Jones strike. Yeah, is definitely advantage Kingswood on that one. So Jones looking to fill this strike with this next two balls. And uh, there's a double strike for Kingswood. Another one. Same same uh, fall pattern, too. Four pin last to go. Lock with a punch out, but it carries on the left side, so he's got a three pin spare to make. The three, six, ten. All of Travis Wallace, Sean Duthright, and Justin Jones with double strikes. And there it goes. So uh, Locke at least gets a spare on that one. Still pin perfect. That was a big, big box, pair of boxes for Kingswood from Jones. But that yellow blot becomes green now on the score sheet for the double strike, so it's four marks to ineffectively three for Kingswood open. All right, Kings for Outlaw, excuse me. For Kingswood on your right is Corey Smith. On your left is Andy Babineau for Outlaw rides. Neither on a fill. Smith with his first ball. Has a diamond. Babineau on the three pin. Everything in the middle goes out, but he still has Chester the Cove one, special. two, four, and the six ten. Interesting observation about Calvin's ball. I'll share in a second. First, this diamond try. One and four chance. And the diamond wins again. And Babineau picks up that needed spare. It's pretty when it goes. Everybody on Outlaw on a mark. And that was for Donald Green. Yeah. We had the opportunity to use that phrase from Don Gillis. We had Ian McGregor uh, pointing out Calvin's third ball. He doesn't actually go all the way back and do his full arm swing windup. He actually just, he does less of a windup at the end. And despite that, Calvin's still uh, heavily ahead. All right, that was an eight box for Corey Smith. Andy Babineau picks up a mark. All right, box eight for Corey Smith on your right and Andy Babineau for the Outlaw Rides on the left, who is on a spare. And uh, half Worcester and the seven pin somewhat went out and there goes the four, so just a four drop, but better than a half Worcester. Babineau on a fill, he's got the same leave he had last time with the addition of an eight pin in the back, so he just put four on the fill. Really was hoping for more than that. So Corey Smith shooting at the one, three, six, ten, five, eight, nine. And picks up everything but the three on the right. Babineau trying to repeat that one. And uh, great bid. He's all over the object, but the six and ten stay up. All right, for 10, there's a 10 for Smith. There's a nine for Babineau. All right, we're complete through eight boxes of this second game of three. In the playoff round, it's all about total pins. Doesn't matter who wins each string, but who has the most total. And it's by my count here, unofficial, an 86 pin advantage for Kingswood Bulletproof. They have a spare and a double strike to fill. The Outlaw Riders have four spares to fill, so a lot can change here. If and hope for the Outlaw Riders, are hoping it does. All right, first ball, McGuigan on your right fills up, and uh, he has a seven fill. And uh, Brooks on your left has a four fill. McGuigan filled six. I show on that. That's a spare. Six. six. Versus a four fill and another spare. I'll leave the smudge up for Phil. Take it off of Brooks. He does not mark his open. So He's Mc American open. Yep, so McGuigan picked up that mark. Brooks on your left is going to be open. And uh, takes a nice 10. 
He had a little bit of a split there. Extra stick for good measure. So at the after nine box, McGuigan's at 124 plus this ball. Brooks is at 98 plus uh, with no fill. All right. So this ball for McGuigan on your right is a fill ball. On the head pin. And he breaks up the split, so it's a nice nine fill. We have a slow motion messenger going to the seven. It's not going to take it out. It's not going to get there. Brooks is on the three pin. He gets some extra action, breaking up the Kaliri. And the one six or one four seven nine is left up. Wood's still trying to figure out where it's going to land. McGuigan on the spare picks it up. What a string! Seven two, marks. Two spares. He's at 143 plus a ball. Eric McGuigan with a chance to bust into 150. That's the sort of jolt they needed, Outlaw Rides. And Brooks will be open. He still has a one. He only picked up one on that. He's got the 147 to go. Mm. Try to get a 10 here. Am he I yelling? Just checking in. Okay, that's fine. I am. And a nine box for a 107. Yelling. No, that's fine. And on the fill for McGuigan, it's six. Just misses a 150 with a 149 string. Nothing wrong with that. That was big for the Outlaw Rides team. And now it's a 68 pin lead for Kingswood. Mm -hmm. A little more in the string and they could, um, right now they're up uh, 24 and an extra ball in effect, so. Not over yet, that five fills a little too bad though. I just checked in the feeds and I don't see any comments on the Facebook feed. So that was a five drop for Hopper on your right. And Wallace puts up a strike. Hopper trying to spare the Kaliri and just picks up the one and the nine. Travis Wallace's third strike. Sean Duthright is three, Justin Jones four. Robbie Hopper. Oh, I know why I called him Dennis. There was a famous actor named Dennis Hopper. Ah, nine box. Nine box for Robbie Hopper, my apologies. Sometimes in the heat of mo moment things slip, but I'm trying. Wallace on a strike coming into the ninth box, the 10th box. They're both at 91, Wallace with a two ball fill. Robbie Hopper, nice bid to make a strike there, but he leaves himself the 6-10 with the wood in front of it. Do you really need more double strikes this minute? Uh. Match ain't over though. None of these teams is anything but great. So you don't if I were in their seat, I'd want a healthy, healthy lead because you never know what they're oh. doing. There's a double. Okay, there's the answer to my question. Mercy! And a spare for Hopper. Double strike for Wallace in the tenth. Hopper with a spare in the tenth. So both bowlers will come up for a fill ball. Two for Wallace. Second double strike for Travis Wallace. Remember, we had Scott Douglas in a round robin match throw a double uh, strike in each of the three strikes. Wallace on his fill on the head pin and takes out seven, eight, nine. Good finish. Puts him at 110. Wallace has two fill balls. He's on a double strike, potential triple here. If he can get a strike here. Stepping back just for a second, take a deep breath. He's run out of real estate. It wouldn't be the best uh, double there. Two now his team's there to catch him. They're all right behind him. Two green blots on the board. Amazing. Okay, off on uh, no tr no triple this time. Four on the first ball. He's got a split there. Wants to pick up at least the right hand four, but if that right hand four goes, there's a good chance the other two will. So. Second field ball, and it's a seven. 21 bonus pins on two marks. So four filled for the remainder of the first strike, 14 on that one, and 17 on the second one. Or seven on the second one, sorry. Good finish. And um, now on your right is Ryan Shannon. He's on a fill. Puts it on a two pin, takes out six. Sean Duthright punches out on the on the two pin, but takes out three. The five pin goes two. Nice spare by Ryan Shannon. Good mark. Mark it up. And 
Duthright goes to the other side of the head pin, so he still has five pins up there. He's on the head pin and takes out a, makes a seven. On to Phil, punch out. Gonna get some more? Oh, no, not gonna happen. Five, Phil. Tooth right on the head pin also, and he gets a punch out. A Little different though, he's got the three on the right and the four and the eight. So, Ryan Shannon trying to make this happen. He's going for the wood on the left, and oh, everything but the three pin. What a bid that was. Brutal. That would have been a big momentum surge. It was the right call, and he brought everything out, but the wood just bumped. The three pin didn't go out. Duthright misses his spare attempt. Ten box for Shannon, eight box for Duthright. So we'll have an update um, on uh, the other match as soon as we wrap up here. Yep. on this one and uh, thank you Wayne Petty for coverage comments we appreciate that we're do doing our best it's been a long week Justin Jones on a double strike on your left Calvin Locks on a spare Lock puts nine on his not going to be ten looking for a triple here for Justin Jones they called for it uh, crowd yelled triple but He's on the head pin, takes out six, so 16 fill in the first strike. Calvin Locke with a five pin shot and a nice piece of wood there, should make it easy. No problem for him, spare for Calvin Locke. Justin Jones trying to put a 10 on the second strike. He's got the three, six, 10, and a seven over in the left. And he picks up two of those four, so an eight fill in the second strike. Holy smokes. And he takes the easy nine. So Jones is at 133 after nine. Locke is at 113 plus a fill. Justin Jones is the highest out of the pack right now, 374. Locke spares. Or Locke is on a fill. Thank you. Just picked up me. the five pin with a. Uh, Excuse me. No problem. And uh, that's not what he wanted to see on a fill it was a punch out half Worcester right. The two, the three and the nine pin go and that's it. Jones trying to get the strike run going again. Gets eight and the two and the five stay up. Locke bidding on the half Worcester leave and he'll be open in the 10th. He's been perfect through nine, but boy, would pinning that be something. And a miss Ooh. by La Jones. Both bowlers are not going to finish out of marks. See if he can stay perfect. And ah, there it goes. That Justin Jones does not have a perfect game. Calvin Locke does. Calvin Locke doesn't. I'm sorry. Um, Jones puts up a ten, so an eight box for 143. Lock one four. So 143 for Jones, 123 for Lock. Lock oh. two pins short of all tens are better. Paul Grant has an update. I'll get the mic over to him carefully, and we will have hear from him. Careful with the cord. And what do we? What's the latest? By guys, a tight one, a low scoring one in the Able Construction uh, in uh, Academy Lanes, defending champions, Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. Academy Lanes up by 19, down two marks to one late in the second string. Able Construction, two spares to one spare for Academy. 19th in lead for Academy Lanes late in the second of three in the other quarterfinal action. And Andy, Andy Babineau dropped eight on his first ball, but does not get the spare. Corey Smith on your left has a four horsemen right to work with. And uh, misses his spare too. Ten box for Andy Babineau. Corey Smith, is he going for three or going for two? This is where my former pro teammate tell me to go for the two, which is what he does. Just don't lose the pins. It's like a penalty if you don't get all the pins. So losing one is not... Bad, um, not a bad cost at all to take. Instead of losing three, or even two if you pick up the head pin. 
pinning is actually a completely even in the match. Both sides have lost 55 pins. However, Kingswood has cut the lead from the 90s Ooh. to 63. So they're chipping away. That's a 1-9 punch out for Andy Babino. And that's not helping the cause. Corey Smith is on the head pin. Andy Babino is making a great run at that. And uh, can't get it to go. So he still has the 2 7 10. Corey Smith is looking at the 3 4 6 7 10 and just gets the 6 pin. All right, chance for the Outlaw Rides to pick up uh, some more pins, but uh, he gets nothing on that, so it closes with a 7 box. And Babineau with an 8 box. And. Uh, Seven, Corey, eight, uh, Andy. And uh, that was the end of the 10th box. Stand by while we do the transition. One moment, I'll take so your levels uh, down. Paul's gonna do play-by-play, -play, and here we uh, go. Yeah, right. Yep, stand by, all right. We'll get those substitutions in just a moment, Dan, if you wouldn't mind uh, helping out with uh, gleaning the lineups. I'll show the, the scoreboard for the folks here. 62 pins, that's much less than Kingswood had. And that's obviously very good here. That's a nine pin drop. For what I believe is still Devin Brooks in the game, we'll verify. And we'll take this away momentarily while we confirm. Second ball coming up, this is a spare try. Levels up on your Mike Paul and we'll get this going. That's gone for a spare. It's matching spares. Copy that, take that here. Clear this away. And put a spare up for each side. I'll leave it on this uh, old scoreboard view for the time being while we confirm the lineups. Okay, Eric McWiggan for Outlaw Rides. Devin Brooks for Kingswood. 19 through one, just missed the strike. The five pin left up. Spare fill is four. For Eric, 14 through one. Three string total pinfall for the rights to the semifinals next on Candle Pin Bowling Network. Paul Grant, Dan Castle, Greg Guya live. Spare. 29 of the ball through two for Devin Brooks. Good bid. Half Worcester. 4 7, 5 10 for McWiggan. There we go. Eight box there, I'll put that on the board. We have for Outlaw Rides, Eric Hopp, that's uh, Robbie Hopper, Ryan Shannon, Calvin Locke, Andy uh, Babineau stays put, Devin Brooks, Travis Wallace, Sean Duthright, Justin JJ, that's Justin Jones, and Smitty, Corey Smith. Well, that's intact as well, lineups are correct. We move down now to Robbie Hopper and Travis Wallace. And Paul Grant. Thank you, Greg. 2023 ICC Men's World Team Championships quarterfinals. When it takes on A plus accounting, the number one seed, about a two round by. Travis Wallace, three six, a two four seven rather, three pinner, two four seven, spare chance, wood in front, one behind, one to the right. Robbie Hopper in the second spot for Outlaw Rides coming in. Last string has the hay bale, some call it, diamond plus the 10 in this case. Also available on the other side. That won't go. Semifinals and finals live on Candlepin and Bowling Network. Over 850 videos and climbing. It's always free, never a charge. Please subscribe to Candlepin Bowling Network on YouTube. Like and follow us on Facebook as well. Wallace and nine to start his final string. 10 for Hopper. If there's a tie for some reason or another, we have a one string roll off. Oh boy. Right now, Kingsley well, Bulletproof has had the lead most of the way through. They won by 92. How much the upcoming in this string, Greg, was it? Was it uh, 62 is what I have. Coming in? Uh, yep, and I'm looking up there. I uh, I can't see the transparency. We'll go back to the pinfall and try to confirm that. Okay, first ball, seven. Not a bad lead. One, two, seven for Travis Wallace. King has been tough. Kingswood knocking a lot of teams out. Battle tested. 
Mm, Bulletproof might be up 64. I beg your pardon. I'm going to get that confirmed in a second. Wallace missed inside. He's up number one. Chops out a couple. Two, four, seven, ten. Travis with his system. Randy Wallace won the Mixed Internationals a couple of years ago. And Augusta Maine, the 1710 Sports Center. Unable to defend his title this past year. Wasn't able to get there. As he gets a nine, 18 through two. Nice out, nine. Nine apiece. Robbie Hoppin, yep. 19 through two. Kings of Bulletproof, one spare to none, up 68 in the match, trying to get to the semifinals against A-plus accounting. Accounting. In the Canadian semifinal. Third ball is Sean Duthright. Just four in that first ball. Ryan Shannon, strike bid, you got it! They need a bunch of those. Strike to start the third. Duth right, five left, nine right. 122 league bowler in his 29th year of Candlepin Bowling. 189 high single. High triple, 463. High five, 687. Gets a 10 to start his third and final string of the match. The marks are even one point apiece. Kings are up by 68. They've led pretty much most of the way. Yep. All the rides led by a handful at one point early in the first. But Kingswood trying to hold off. Outlaw rides. Half Worcester. Two in the eight. Well, what, four, du four double strikes, Greg, so far tonight? I, think, I believe I, I believe so, yes. Kingswood. Ryan looked for one here, but he missed the head pin. And he's got the Augusta Main special, the 1 7 10, but the one goes away. 7 10 split. Wood to work with on the strike. Deuth right, 4 7, 6 right. He's had some monster strings this week, Duthright. Sean with an A-U, S-H-A-U-N. Sean Duthright, D-O-U-T-H-W-R-I-G-H-T. Good bid, will it go? It leans over, but it holds up. I kick. 19 through one in the strike, Phil. Eight box for Sean Duthright, 18 through two. Ski ball shot going with a 50, won't go for Ryan Shannon. 28 nine nine. through two. That's right, thank you. One mark for each side, and the final string of the match leads 58. Yeah. This it margin is unofficial. I show Kingswood as too higher, I believe, so I'm going to just uh, make that right, essentially. We so. can grab the score sheet down there and check the official results. Yep, uh, but it's plus 64 on the transparency, so that's what I'm going with, and that will make 1225. Right. Scores near the screen are unofficial. Justin Jones coming off of what, 143 string was it, Greg? Um, Last string? Uh, information overload at the moment, as All you right. can see by my sc okay. frantic scrolling. Calvin Lock drops nine, four pin for a spare. Spare for Justin Jones. Lock a spare to answer. Matching spares to stop the third. Justin in his hometown of Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada, originally from Black Blacks Harbor. 128, his best season inning average, 119 currently. 194 high single, high triple, 471. Bowling for over 51 years. And still at a high level. Crossing over on the spare, just four, 14 through one. Locke delivers a bunch. He gets seven, make it eight, the seven, eight. More, come on, come on. 18 through one to start the third. Tough shot by JJ. Missed right. Almost stole it. Or oh, touches it. It wants to go. Get the protractor out. That's good news for all our rides. The three pin holds up. Horizontal wood. I think it's angled a little front back left to front right, which should be favorable. For another spare. Just missed the wood. He's trying to edge the left mm -hmm. of that wood. A fine mm -hmm. line between the wood and the pin. And such an accurate ball. It missed that one. And meanwhile, J.J., Justin Jones, a 9, 23 through 2. Calvin Locke, a 10, missed opportunity. He knows it, 28 through 2. 
in the third and final string of the match. Yeah, that's unless the unless we have overtime. That's the body language or body English, as you will, of someone a bowler that knew that shot was on. One thing about Calvin Locke and a lot of these pro great pro bowlers, a lot of world champions here in the lanes, they can shake it off like it never happened. That's what you got to do. Come on, great game. come on, frame rate. Don't fail me now. There we go. Paul, say what you need. Yep, I'll say. Anchor bowlers. Anchor bowlers, Corey Smith on the right. Andy Babino on the left. 55 pin lead for Kingswood plus a ball for the lead up bowler next. Trying to get to the semifinals against eight plus a county. Good bid, these are the six. Spare for Babino. Here come out the rides. One mark apiece, trying to get back. An uphill climb. Smith a 10 through one. Last night they had the lead pretty much all the way on Maria Subs. Maria Subs flirted back and forth, getting close and close, but they pulled away at the end. Outlaw Rise led that match most of the way through in the opening playoff round. Watch it live, watch it on the rebroadcast on Camelton Bowling Network on YouTube. Semifinals to follow the, uh, the uh, quarter, the finals to follow this. After the semifinals, of course. Not happy with that shot. Four in the fill for Babs, 14 through one. Cuts the lead to 51 right now, but they're down on the mark. Smith trying to work out of the bundle of six. Got three, three, six, 10, a 198 high single. A Kingswood Lane's record 506 high triple, high five of 720. 3-2 split for Babs. Smith, three-time world championship winner, 2015, 17, and 19. All in Canada. As he gets an eight, seven. Eight box seven. and a seven box, and I'll jump right in with the score update. There you don't see it. There you go. Well, that's just the one mark standing. Kingswood loves to see the status quo. They are slightly slipping in this string as well. Only just, though, and here's Devin Brooks to possibly straighten that out in a jiffy. He has the only mark on the board for either side. For Kingswood, it's Eric McWiggin off the bench in this, on the be from off the bench in the second string. It's the one, two, spare chance. On the spare, nine. Four pin left up for McWiggin. There's your jiffy, two I'm nine fills. I'm sorry, Devin Brooks, nine rather than Phil. My mistake, 38 through two. Now a spare for McWiggin. So I have a hard time seeing the forest of the trees here, Greg. We're off to the left side. The bullet's standing up and blocking our view. Then a spare. Three straight. Time for the step stool. Oh, I could have done that ages ago, sorry. All right, now I can see better. We're now you're way, a tree. How's the weather up there? Five, five tens, not the tallest, not the smallest. Kings wouldn't lead by 61. Head pin hit, breaks the diamond, has a triangle, two, four, five. Make it two now. Pin standing, two in the four. It's at 39 through three. Brooks on the bonus again, 48 in the ball through three. Great start. Yeah, eight fill, I'll fix that. Half Western momentum killer, two. 50 through three. Kings went up by 55 in yeah, the match. So, yeah, oh, somehow you're I'm kidding up. me. How did that go? Brutal, brutal, brutal. All right, two fill on that for Brooks. And grabs the five back and knocks a couple more down. One, two, four, ten for Devin Brooks. 117 league bowler, high single, 173. High triple, 421. McWiggin, a 10. 50. Yep. Uh, Score correction there, uh, 10 box for McGuigan and a nine box for Brooks. I was a little too low on uh, McGuigan's score. That is now correct as you see it. Okay. So 51 for McGuigan, 59 for Brooks through four in the final string of the match, unless we have overtime. But when it goes on to the <laughs> semifinals, take on an A-plus accounting. <laughs> Robbie Hopper, the number two spot for Outlaw Rides, two four left, six right. 19 is first two. Travis Wallace for Kingswood on the left in the green shirt. 18 through two. 
Head pin hit. Triangle, 478. Right side, 3610. Hopper could be the object, won't carry. What a shot, what a spare, wow, how about that one, folks? Travis Wallace, a great shot for a spare. Hopper in eight, 27 through three. Wallace, 28 in the ball through three. Remarkable, seen lots of great shots by these great pro bowlers all week. That was awesome. The lead is 55, and they have the only mark on the board. Hopper a diamond. Kingswood dominated in the quarterfinals, the opening round last night. Dominating overall so far in this match, but 55 pins is not a safe lead. <laughs> Off to the right, steal eight, maybe it's seven point five. One, two, wiggling seven on the spare, 35 through three. Pushes lead back up to 62 in the match. No marks for either side right now. We have a score. We have a score update to share in just a moment. Just missed inside. Number one is Wallace. Hopper in nine, 36 through four. And the third ball coming up for Travis Wallace on the way, and that will be a 10 box to give him 45 through four. So as Sean Duthright and Ryan Shannon come up, I'll share that Team Academy Lanes is now up 26 pins uh, through two strings over Team Able, as they are just now starting the third. Current score 11.73 for Academy, 11.47 for Able. That's a 2-3 matchup. Academy Lanes defending champions, number two seed, Able Construction. Was number one during the week for a short time. Now the number three coming in. Strike. Ryan Shannon in his third box, 28 plus two through three. Second. Sorry, 38 plus two through three. Second strike. Imagine if those were consecutive. Kingswood has twice as many strikes, 12 already. Two right, four, seven, eight, triangle for a spare. Missed right. Wood was too many of those. Not a nice ramp on that wood. Needed the object. Sean gets a 10, 28 through three in the third. Cannon Bowling Network's presentation of the 2023 Men's World Ch Championships ICC on Cannon Bowling Network. Over 850 videos and climbing. Never a charge, always free. Please. Subscribe to YouTube, to Candlepin Bowling Network, on YouTube, to Candlepin Bowling Network. Follow us on Facebook and like us as well. Share this match with your friends and family. Invite them to bowl, Candlepin Bowling. Oh, I'm squirreling my scoreboard. I'm sorry. I it's needed okay. to fix that. Shannon's first ball on the strike, a check mark plus the seven. Sean Duthright, three, five, nine, wooden front. Tough piece to plow through. It, give, it makes the totals correct and is now 64 through two, which was the expected margin. Shannon strikes still a seven, 45 through three. Good bid by Duthright. Leaves Set. up the nine. On the board. So in Canada, open means you're filling a spare strike. Open in the States means you didn't get a mark in that box. Maybe we should call it shut the box. Now there's a good yeah. dice game though. Try to stay away from the open stuff. For as long as it's an open point of discussion. Greg Guyer on the, <laughs> sound, on the uh, t technology and score cam doing an awesome job as always. Bob Lee, the executive producer of Candlepin Bowling Network. He's watching. Bob not able to attend this week due to a family situation, so hope Bob's doing well. Miss you, Bob. We'll see you soon. All right. Duthright, 9, 37 through 4. Ryan Shannon now 52 through 4. 58 pin lead for Kingswood. Surprisingly, no marks on the board for either side. That won't last much longer, I'm sure. Calvin Locke. Coming up, and Justin Jones. Starting his string. Spread Eagle throwing the nine. And his third box, I should say, the th third string. Haven't Jones, got through. Not much better, a 3 2 split. Haven't got through my double double yet. It's got to be a little punchier here for you folks. Calvin, brutal lead, 4 2. He's three for three on the head pin and missed a perfect string on the last box. 
And here's a bit in a split, I call it, for Jones. Four, seven left, six, ten right. Ooh, good out. Nothing like a good old-fashioned banana split, Greg. At this hour, though? What's that? At this hour? We've been over this. <laughs> I never had one for breakfast, have you? Mm -hmm. Nine for Calvin, eight for Jones. Jones 31 through three, Calvin 37 through three on Candlepin Bowling Network. You know, I have to have it in the nighttime usually, don't? Late afternoon or evening. I haven't had one in a long, long time. Last time I had one was out by Archie Strike and Spear in Parsonsfield, Maine, covering a, a Maine tournament out there last year. Calvin four for four on the head pin. Just missed left. Goes Jones, one, six, ten. 2 4 7 6 10 right for Calvin. At 2 0 6 in the, in the qualifying rounds, a singles knockout here on Monday. Good bid, just missed left. 7 70 high, 5 5 14 high, triple high, single 2 0 6. Also was a 2 0 4. That one got away from Justin Jones. It was a 194 high, single high, triple 471. 59 years young, JJ, he gets a nine. Calvin gets a nine, so <coughs> Calvin 46, Justin 40 through four. Anchors away. Andy Babineau on the right for Outlaw Rides, 21 through two. Corey Smith, 18 through two for Kingsborough Bulletproof, up 57. No marks on the board in the final string of the match. Semifinals next. Followed by the finals, all live on Candlepin Bowling Network as well. Five, six, ten. Good shot there, nine. Roll, oh, that was almost sat up. That piece of wood was straddling another for the longest time. Rarely see that. Babineau, good bit, that's a tough shot to make. Corey Smith, clean shot, the ten still shaking its boots. I have a photo of that happening at the Drome in Fredericton, New Brunswick. Great, but very challenging place to bowl, formerly the Bola Drome. The triangle shape of wood doesn't need that, goes right at it for a spare. 31, correction 28, and the ball through three. But Corey Smith Kingswood trying to get to the semifinals. They've led pretty much all the way. That helps. Six couple, marks to six on the string. A couple of small deficits in the first. Cavanaugh delivers eight, four left, eight right. Nice shot there, nine, the wiggle on the get, king. Get over. Corey can't pull it down. Spare bit, ah, oh, too bad on the object pin. Those pesky two pin as Greg Gouya likes to say. They look easy, they go, barely go over one every two times without wood for the average class A bowler. Pesky, pesky. Stats by Kenneth Mulling Network. Here's a spare. Smith 47, the ball through four, back to back. Babs, a 10, 41 through four. Kingswood trying to put it away early, up 66 in the match. Kingswood got it down low for a while, but back up again into the mid 60s. We're back to the top of the order here in Moncton at Fairlanes. Devin Brooks for a strike, almost. McWiggin, seven, six, ten right, seven left, wood to work with. Paul Grant, Dan Castle, Greg Gouillard on Candlepin Bowling Network, the 2023 Men's ICC Worlds Championships team matches on Candlepin Bowling Network. Stay tuned next for the semifinals. The winner of this match takes on A plus accounting. Spare! Another one for Brooks, 69 half plus one. Mc oh, wow, what a shot for Eric McWiggin. Nice, 6-10 into the seven. How about that? 61 half plus one. Confirm Eric, score, stand by. Eric had a 142 average one season. Very impressive, 124 is regular average. 219 high single, high triple, 478. On this. Spark nine on the spare for Brooks, 78 half. Third. Wiggin on a spare, he gets eight. Third and nine drop nine for Devin Brooks. McWiggin up to 69. That's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's right. 
Sheesh. Fat fingers. <laughs> One I little had, keystroke. I had that problem doing the manual scoring in the Friday Night Pro League with the manual calculator, the big fingers. One of these days someone's going to score a thousand string if I'm not careful. Uh, missed opportunity for Brooks. You can type on Facebook, hit two buttons at once. Uh, stu stupid spell checkers. I oh, turnaround spirit denied. That would have gone, but the other piece on the left got in the way. No actual disrespect to ourselves, but that's peak candle pin bowling <laughs> network. <laughs> Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third for Devin Brooks. 10, 88 through 6. McGuigan, 10, 79 through 6. Confirming scores, though. Looking good so far. Kings with one mark to none. 45, 37, 40, 47, and a ball is good. Hopper and Wallace up. Uh, I don't see any substitutes at this time. We bring it to you live. You see all the all the blemishes on the live stream. You get it right away. Rebroadcast later on. No marks are up. On I'm going to take the network. scoreboard away briefly. Travis Wallace on the right. Robbie Hopper on the left. Both with four down, six to go. Tough spare leaves. Wallace just missed number one. One, eight, six, ten right. Hopper missed right. It's got parallel pins. One, two, four in front behind. Left to right is the eight and the five. You don't see this one go too often, the one, eight, six, ten right without wood. Very rarely. It's only seen a couple times, if that. A seven. And a five, brutal. Seven box, five box, okay. I will put that back. Five box for the Outlaw Rides. I don't mean to disparage, just saying that for my own friend of fit. So Travis, 52 half. Robbie Hopper, a 41 half. Mm -hmm. And I believe he's coming, is he coming out? Coming out? Is that Chad Reed by any yes. chance? Yes, that's Chad Reed. Good read. Aha. Uh -huh. No pun intended. Really? What do you want me to do? Oh, yeah. That's the sheets. Yeah. Travis Wallace, 52 half. Ch Chad Reed coming in off the bench. You can sub up to, up to, up to five boxes. As long as you're on the mark in that fifth box. He crosses over, he gets nine. A wiggle in the three, the wood coming back. Won't go. Welcome to the game. Mentally tough coming off the bench. Spare. Easy as you like, he got the wood ramping in. Nice Six, shot. 62 in a ball through six for brother of Miranda Wallace, Travis Wallace, spare off the bench for Chad Reed. 51 half plus one. The substitutes have been good. You got Eric McGuigan, who is hot off the bench as well. We got Mr. 200, Mike Salona here in attendance today with the wow shirt on. Mike got a 200 last year at Central Park Lanes. That's not an easy house to get a 200 in. Which was one of the more recent 200s. Uh, and so then we had uh, Calvin's 206 here on Monday here in Moncton. Jerry, Jerry Dunn's was the most. Yes, 214. Uh, That's right. We had Jerry Dunn. We had uh, Pete Crawford and Calvin Mock. 227 Pete Crawford, the Friday Night Pro League, and Ryan Zamillis. Impressive numbers. My birthday's 227. I'll never forget that. Nor Mike Morris or Jeff Surrett's birthday. That's the same. Back to live action. Spear bid goes away. For Sean Duthright. Ryan Shannon with the check mark left. Takes out one. Excuse me. Gets the 10. 47 half. Nice 10 there for Shannon. Ryan at 62 through five. Two marks to one for Kingswood Bulletproof. They're up 69 in the match. Pretty much led wire to wire, trying to get to the semifinals next against A plus accounting. That'll be live on Canop and Bowling Network. In the pocket, seven. Another triangle. See a lot of those. Four, seven, eight. Spare chance. Shannon in the pocket. He breaks up the triangle. Five is on the right. Two to the left. A guide to the left of the two. Two 
Tooth right. Can't get the seven to go. Good bid. Tough piece of wood higher up. Wiggling. Tough one. Here's a spare. Ryan Chin, another mark. 72 to ball through six here in the third in the quarterfinals. Kingswood, Sean Duthright, 10, 57 through six. Two marks for each side. Kingswood in command right now by 69. Kinala rides. Come all the way back. Uphill battle, but they have the talent. They can still do it. But they and need the a bunch of marks. And the racetrack. Yep, A plus accounting takes on the winner of this one to answer a viewer question. Thanks, Eric. Calvin Locke, one and a six. Five one split for Justin Jones. Calvin at 46, Justin at 40 through four. Nice shot, spare. I believe the first time either bowler has missed the head pin, but they're turning out Great all shot. right. Calvin has spared a match. To my point. Calvin 60, 56 half plus one. Justin Jones 50 half plus one. Three marks for each side. Remains a 69 pin lead for Kings winning the third and final string of the match here in the quarterfinals. A plus accounting in the wings waiting. Three, four split, ouch, on the fill. Three, 53 half, jo uh, Calvin Locke. As Jones gets three fill, Calvin gets seven. 63 half. Three, five, six triangle, tough leave, half Worcester, ouch. Three-time world champion Calvin Locke, all with Kingswood. Now for Outlaw Rides, leads up the three and the six. JJ trying to get three here. And that's a pro shot, eight. That's a pro eight, Not that it's a great box, but it's a great box considering the leave. 61 through six, 10 for Calvin Locke, gains a couple. 73 through six, lead is 65. Stand by. Unofficially, 63 make it for Kingswood. 63 pin lead for Kingswood, two marks for each side. <laughs> Plenty of time left for Outlaw Rides. Just like Paul said, all scores on your screen are unofficial until announced otherwise. It was correct through four boxes, or 24 boxes th through the match, I should say. And again, the FYI, if there's a tie after three, we do a full one spring roll off till somebody wins. Corey Smith on a spare. Five, 52 through four. In case we haven't entertained you enough already, or they haven't, excuse me. He is back up to 68 for Kingswood. Andy Babineau, 41 through four, a 5-2 split. We're just the Jokers throwing spitballs back here. People think I'm serious. I love to find a goofball. <laughs> this would be something. Just yeah. missed inside, not by much. Good bid there. 7-10 goal post. Nothing like the great game of Candlepin Bowling. Get the word out. Invite your friends to bowl. Candlepin Bowling. Glow Bowling here. Weekends as well, Friday and Saturday nights here at Kingswood at Fairlands in Moncton. That'll be an eight. Gainer. And is that eight? I didn't see that one in the channel or not. Uh, I think that's fair. I showed as fair. Let's see what the score is. I expect a 50 half for Babineau and a 60 half for Smith. And that's what's on the board. Okay. Bowler's call. I couldn't see it from here anyway. Yeah. So We'd be looking for a wave off of Chester as well from the bowlers. None coming. 67 pin lead for Kingswood. Outlaw rides two marks to one in their favor. Trying to cut it in the 50s. Always the spirit of sportsmanship and bowling that uh, shines through. <laughs> Corey on the crossover, off the wall. 5-10, wood to help. Strike for Babino. 60 plus two through six. That might matter. They need a lot more, but that counts. This is a wood discussion now on this 5-10, I believe it is. Driving the cap back will likely, hmm. If it goes straight back, it will miss the 10, but any deviation might take it. The three-time world championship winner trying to get a spare on a weird-looking piece of wood in front, of, almost like a T-shaped angled wood mm. on lane 16 here at Fair Lanes. The T's looking at the approach of 13, 14, not 15, 16. And he got it. Good spin, right side. 70 the ball through six here in the third and final string of the match on Candlepin Bowling Network. Check. And we're back to the top of the order. Paul Grant, Dan Castle, Greg Gouillard on Candlepin Bowling Network, the men's 2023 ICC World Championships from Moncton, New Brunswick, That's Canada. That's right, 47 marks, really. It's more like 51 with four double strikes. 
uh, for Kingswood. 51 marks to 44. Seven mark advantage. Pinning is absolutely even. 77 pins lost on each side. That's a good rate of pinning overall. Less than a pin per uh, American Open. Eric McGuigan, 79 through 6. Devin Brooks, 88 through 6. Good starts. Three marks to two for all our rides. Down 67. Devin Wood to help. Angle perfectly in front of the two right, four left. Three, six, four left for Brooks. Trying to kick it over, just missed right. Got the six. Chris, if we could see Academy Lane sooner, we would. We just, they're just too far left for our camera. I'm very sorry. Nice bit. He got it off the wall. Spare. Devin Brooks, 98 in the ball through seven here in the third. Knife McWigan, 88 through seven. Eric, a two-time world champion himself at his home lanes here at Fairlanes in Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada. Yep. If we had Bob Lee here, we would likely be able to have left division coverage. Believe me, he would if he could. He just could not. McWiggin crossing over, nine. Same spot for a spare. The king is the five. Three marks for each side. One right here from Devin Brooks for King to a bulletproof. Good, Phil. Six and a half is average. This is going to be more than that. Takes down 8.5 on the Richter scale. Five marks. One of them was a two fill, but a great string cooking for Devin. 106 to 106.7, Magic 106.7. Ah. Station in Boston. The soothing sounds of David Allen Boucher. Yeah, it's yes, yesterday's hottest hits. <laughs> Here's Paul Davis with I Go Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite song. Great song. Great songwriter, Paul Davis. Well, our country songs and pop songs. I Go Crazy by Paul Grant. Yeah, tell me about it. Sorry, couldn't resist. <laughs> Strange wood. I get that a lot. Left angled wood. Can't imagine why. Mm. <laughs> oh, that ball's bouncing. It's going to roll over to that pin. It's it tapped and wow. gone. We see two of those today for Kingswood. Wow. Unbelievable. Devin Brooks can do no wrong. As the world turns for a spare. 160 the ball through eight. When it rains, it pours. And Kings were pouring it on. It's up to 76 in the match. Marks even three apiece by the yellow dots on your screen. Between total and game. Marks can fizzle. It could be a lesser lead than 76, or it could be greater. Who knows? Chad Reed on a spare. Travis Wallace on a spare. Chad Reed first. Even there, Chris, uh, Academy would, Academy, if they advance, or able if they advance, would be on 9 and 10. That's too far over for our cameras, I'm sorry to say. It kills me. I wish we could balance the coverage better than this, but we have the booth, and we're thankful for it. It is what it is. Two in the fill, ten in the fill. Oh, baby. Travis Wallace, strike on spare. 72 through six, 82 plus two through seven. Chad, two in the fill. Almost another mark. Good try on the second shot. Ooh. 53 through six. Nine. 62 through seven on Candlepin Bowling Network. Three marks to two for Kingswood. The lead is up to 85 in the match. The power of a 20 box. Chad Reed's high single is high single 205. High triple 454. High five 624 in his home lanes here at Fairlanes. 119 league bowler, 126 is best season ending average. Travis Wallace, great young bowler, getting better and better on lane 15, working on a strike. 82 plus two in the seventh. For a double, oh, the wood goes right between the five and eight. Almost like the game of operation, didn't touch the side, the buzzer didn't go off. Almost at the Scott Douglas, the tr uh, double in each string. The twister, Scott Douglas. I'm not gonna keep calling it that, but well, you can call him Twister all you want. I, we won't keep calling it the Scott Douglas, but Burton in here, we saw it on our cameras here in Moncton. Three in the rearranged six pin left up for Chad Reed. It's all Kingswood here in the quarterfinals. Another spare. That's on strike. 92 through seven, 102 to ball through eight. Wow. Travis Wallace on a great run here in the third. 10 for Reed, 72 through eight. Coming in off the bench in the sixth box, Robbie Hopper. Kings were leads by 95. Plus a ball, it could be triple digits again. Never say never, it's looking good for the semifinals. 
checking my gain on this. I'm still popping it a little bit. Okay, that's good. Ryan Chen and Spearfield for Outlaw Rogers, four, 76 through six, down to 91. We're down two marks to now, three to one. Sean Duthright, an offspring by his standards, 57 through six. Standard set just a moment ago. Shannon, triangle, five, eight, nine. Tooth right spare. There it is. Spoke too soon. 67 to the ball through seven. 10 for Shannon, 86 through seven. And that's the importance of pinning for uh, Sean Tooth right. He only had two boxes less than 10. So even though that's only his first mark, he can get right back over par with a good count. Kings has won three world titles overall. Variation of bowlers as Reed gets a half Worcester. On the bonus, seven. Wobbling, six, nine, ten. Triangle on the spare, 74 through seven. The lead is 98, 98 for Kingswood. For another one. He got it. Eventually. Unbelievable. Back to back, 84 and a ball through eight. Four marks to one for Kingswood. Oops. Seven for Shannon, 93 through eight. Got that one a little out there, but no debate, no pins. It's back up to triple digits again, 101. And if they bowl like this, if they advance to the semifinals, watch out, A-plus accounting. Not in the miracle zone yet, but we're close. The miracles required zone, and like double strikes or pinning disasters. Cavan Lock 2-2 two -two split. Justin Jones for a strike, almost. Wood goes right behind the six. Calvin missed left. Bowling at a quicker tempo. Two left, six right. For a spare, yes! 71 of the ball through seven. Calvin nine, 82 through seven. Kings were putting on a show. Yep. Travis Wallace, Sean Duthright could both pin out 369. Justin Jones, JJ, 375. And Brooks and Smith are 41, 40 plus over par. Calvin, 1, 2, 7, 8, 10. What to help? They could pin out 340s, in other words. And back to reality, a half Worcester. That's a Paul Grantville. Two, 83 through 7 for JJ. We're at the point where we could just jeer, they could just jeer each other now. Calvin, one of the 10. And look at this. Topped out three. The, you don't see that too often. Ten pin going down. Calvin and field goal eight. A CFL shot. 90 through eight. Nine for Jones. 82 through eight. What a performance by Kingswood Bulletproof. Four marks to one. And they lead by 105. Anchor bowlers. Andy Babineau on a spare. A strike, rather. Corey Smith on a spare. First, it's Babs. Steals eight, make it nine. Seven pin remains. Actually getting the double that way. Could still go. It's still rolling. Meanwhile, Corey Smith on a spare has a Greek church. Didn't want that three pin to drop. Yes, he does. Five is the fill. 75 through six. A 110 pin lead. Who would have thought that? But the wood won't go. Mm. That's where it's going for Outlaw Rides this morning. Nine fills. 69 through six. Trying to go two and a three. Got the two, not the triangle, the four, seven, eight. A nine for Andy, 78 through seven. Just not their day. They glued the pin down. 10 for Smith. Corey, 85 through seven on Candlepin Bowling Network. Stay tuned next for the semifinals, separate broadcast. A-plus accounting, more than likely, not official, will take on Kings for Bulletproof. And the winner of that will go to the finals. Right here on Canopy Bowling Network on YouTube and Facebook. So make sure you subscribe, follow us on Facebook, and if you miss a ball. 1-3, spare chance for Andy Babineau. Spare. 88 and a ball through eight. Smith, 4-1 split. This would be something. Half Worcester. Corey trying to get his fourth world championship. 
Nice out, nine, 94 through nine, through eight rather, 94 through eight. Robbie Hopper, I mean, uh, rather, um, Andy Summerton ball in that first string for Outlaws had a tough string. He was looking for a seventh world championship. Not looking good right now. And back to the top of the order. Paul Grant, Dan Castle, Greg Gouillard, and Canlipin Bowling Network, the Men's Worlds 2023 ICC quarterfinals on Canlipin Bowling Network. Devin Brooks on a spare, seven, one, five, eight, 123 through eight. Getting that. Eric McGuigan at 98 through eight coming in. Another spare. Another one, seven marks at nine boxes. 133 through nine. For Devin Brooks for Kingswood Bulletproof. A masterpiece performance by Kingswood. Chopsaw, look at this sleeve. Take a look, look at that one. It's a six. 90, eight through eight, so one over four through nine. Three marks to point for Kings with Bulletproof. Strike bid eight. We're between the four and the eight. Strike bid here, almost. Four pin left up. Devon Brooks, 141 through nine. For another one, he's got it. 151 in the ball in the 10th. Spare for McWiggin. 114 in the ball in the 10th. Three marks to two for Kings with a 120 pin unsurmountable lead. Here in the quarterfinals, taking on A plus accounting next. Super duper miracle zone now. Might need divine intervention. Mm -hmm. For a 160, he gets six, seven. Nothing wrong with the 158 quarterfinal final string for Devin Brooks. Wow. Two time AYB national championship team winner. McGuigan averaged 136 off the bench. Very good in his own right. 123. Eric, fine performance there. Eight boxes to go in this quarterfinal match. Travis Wallace, 102 in a ball. Chad Reed, 72 through eight. Just three that time for Travis. 105 through eight in the third. Reed, good head pin hit, but look at this. 7, 8, 6, 10, right. So you can spin that wood around. Now a banana split. Wallace. Nothing doing there for Reed. Travis enjoys basketball as well as Canada from bowling. And his favorite bowling moment when he's winning the mixed international doubles at Augusta, Maine. Miranda Wallace a couple years ago. He gets an eight, Chad gets a 10. So Chad 82 through nine, Travis 113 through nine. Thank you for watching this great game of Canada from bowling. Please share with your friends and family. Nothing like Canada from bowling. Get your friends out there to bowl. And again, don't forget the holiday season and Canopin gift cards. Support your local bowling centers and get your family and friends involved. Head pin hit, eight for Reed, three in the six. Fair chance. All scores confirmed through eight boxes. Thank you, Greg. One, two, seven, five behind one for Wallace. Travis also enjoys volleyball as well and spending time with his family. No spend that time, one of the five left. Reed, missed right, leads up the three. Another good run out by Ella Rides. They finished fifth. And got here with an upset victory. Over Maria Subs, who were 24 0 after day one. Eight for Travis, 121 string. Chad Reed, nine. Coming in the sixth box, 91 with Robbie Hopper. Kings with Bulletproof be on their way. To the semifinals next on Kenneth the Bowling Network against A plus accounting. That should be an A plus match. Aha. Uh -huh. No pun intended. Sure. Kind of, sort of.
<laughs> Just saying. Sean Duthright on a spare. He drops down nine. That's about right for Sean. See ya. Ten. Strike. Another one. Matter of time. 94 through eight. 104 plus two through nine. He would need to double the strike for 400. I don't put that past him. Good head pin hit there. Eight and ten for Ryan Shannon. 93 coming in through eight. If he went strike, spare, strike, he'd get 399. Including this strike, I mean to say. Nothing doing. Hits the other button, that's kind. Field goal eight, 101 through nine. Winding down here in the quarterfinals. That's one way to improve pace of play. Just hit the other guy's button if you, their pins are down and yours aren't. Keep it moving. Duthright on a strike. Well, he could have. Man. Good ball. Seven. Shannon wobbling four horsemen left. The one, two, four point wiggle. And the seven. Bizarre wood. I'm. Sean's probably glad the stakes aren't higher because this could deflect. Oh, good. And that one goes. Yep. Unbelievable. Wasn't the most convincing, but hey, there you go. There's the spare piece of it. 114 through 9, 124 and a ball in the 10th after a slow start. Sean Duthright crushing it here in the third. And Ryan Shannon doesn't get that spare to go. And we'll get to 121 with a 10, which he does. 121 for Ryan Shannon for Outlaw Rides. Uh... I have a 111 on the board. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Read it really wrong? Okay, 111. Make it. Yeah. All right, 111. He ends up with a 315 unofficially. And Duthright gets nine in the fill. What a finish. 133. Another fine yeah. performance by Sean S H A U N Duthright. D O U T H W R I G T. I believe I may have been off a pin or two, but I believe he's at 398. Fantastic. And a big reason Kingswood is on their way. Wrapping up the string. Calvin Locke and Justin Jones. No spare here. One mark for Outlaw Rides next. For Andy Vavino. A stoner here in Moncton. Balls congratulate each other. Seven for Calvin, 97 through nine. Nine box for Jones. And that puts him at 91 through nine. Executive producer of Cannon Promoting Network is Bob Lee. Greg, thank you for doing a great job yep. on the technology. Score correction, 92 through nine. Okay. And the score cam all week. Not an easy job doing live stream. You never know what can happen. We'll be on lanes 13 and 14 next for the semifinals. A plus accounting, Matthew Harnett. That was a great shot by Locke just then. That's a spare in the 10th, 107 the ball. A plus accounting and Kingswood Bulletproof next on yeah. Canopy Bowling Network. Locke's bonus is seven. He'll end up with a 114 final string. Yeah, that's a 4-9 conversion though. Hey, that's on video. You can watch it later. And wrap up the last two boxes in the quarterfinals at the ICC Men's World Championships. Strike! That's for Babineau on a spare. 98 through 8, 108 plus 2 in the ninth. Trying to finish up strong. Corey Smith, second ball. And there's the official 117 Augusta Main Special. That's actually his third ball. So that's a seven. And a 101. Strike. Travis Wallace finished with 122, correction. Smith 111 plus two in the 10th. Only fitting. 
Davino trying to get a spare and strike in his match, which he does. 118 final string. Too much king to a bulletproof. Score still looking good as you see them here. Smith has one ball to go. Seven, Phil Babino, 135. Fine performance by the anchor bowler, from Outlaw Riots. 10. Phil is 10 for Corey Smith. Let's On take a strike. look at 121. There we go. I'll read it off here. Andy Babino, 135. Devin Brooks, 158 with that eight mark string. And let's take a look at totals as well. That's a nice 635 on Kingswood side for the game. Sean Duthright, I might be off one, but I show him as just a hair shy of 400. JJ and Travis Wallace, three seventies each. Andy Babino and and then Eric McWigan off the bench with that 136 average with great performances for Outlaw. And there you see it, folks. Ball. For Dan Castle, Greg Gouy, I'm Paul Grant on Kenneth Bowling Network. Back in a few minutes with our semifinal match. A plus account in the number one seed against number three seed Kings with Bulletproof next on Kenneth and Bowling Network. Thank you for watching this great game of Kenneth and Bowling. See S you soon. 16 boxes remaining in the other match. I'll take your levels out. Uh, or I'll take my levels out, sorry. Whoops. 16 boxes remaining in the other match. Once that's done, we'll move on and we will have A plus versus Kingswood. See you soon. <laughs>